Father, we thank you for the portal that has been opened today. Aye. Today is a special day Aye. that we may access the spiritual realm. Aye. This is the day you have chosen Aye. for a prophetic baptism, Aye. a metamorphosis in the realms of the spirit, Aye. a divine change. Father, I pray. <laughs> Here be under the bush. Shatu, Guaraga diaku shagua. Shatu, Guati gasti da bangwa makwewe weina, makwewe weina. Hey, here be under the bush. Shatu, Guaraga diaku shagua. Shatu, Guati gasti da bangwa makwewe weina. Choo choo cha chi chi, chilinga choo cheki chi chinga chi chi, chulinga ya nja ya, ngele diaku chi chi katunge ngia kachele. Chulele leche che 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 chu 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 changia de chipia tu pepe na gateta Morena Sunday 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 Bin molate molesi Mona malaktu molengi ya musenge Kalamari manga usi ya anga Iengola masika ungo Kalamari muzungu Muzanga maunge gia kotege Gigo stada banga maka handi keti bonsa la havei Firingange ndinga ngia ngange ngindiri ngangu ndendiri na manga unze mbia manga unge ngindam batande Sindo mande, sindo mande, sindo mande Mande mia maunde ndia na maka bojai Bidi bonsa la havei Koka, sika, koka, ke, koka, ki, ka, 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 ke, sa, mi hace, mi hace, mi hamba, ma homba, mi imbi, mi isi, ki a koda, ha lo re ni ona si a na hande, le re ni oso ona la mi a ma uche, mi li ma se, mi li ma so, mu re na ha hiki a konga, ma si gato honde re di a kai, di a kai, himbri di 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 da baka o konga, ha si kadea, Bayanga, biongo munga ye kehe ya siki ya tunga Ketibonse hiya, haiya, haiya Henga unga utegita anga hanga Halabra tuta, halabra tiga Halibra ante kida anga kuzika tai, kuzika tai Brosha ebrika te ekro hosta da bra, da da bra Bro pa pa pa, bro pa, bro pa 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 pa, bro pa Bre pa siki Brito for Osha, Gesuna Mahanda, transfer of tongues into thy spirit. Aye. Transfer of the prophetic ability into their soul. Aye. Transfer of the prophetic assignment into their future. Aye. I pray for the prophetic light to shine on their feet. To shine on their feet. To guide their ways in Nola Hunger. Hey! <laughs> Here be under the bush. Shatu, Guaraga diaku shagua. Shatu, Guati gasti da bangwa makwewe weina, makwewe weina. Hey, here be under the bush. Shatu, Guaraga diaku shagua. Shatu, Guati gasti da bangwa makwewe weina. Dike di bonsa la havei. Viringangen dinga ringi angangen yindi ringangun den diri na mangun zembi ya mangun gengi tambatande sindo mande sindo mande sindo mande mande mi ya mangun den di ya na makabojai bidi bonsa la hade ko ka si ka ko ka ke ko ka ki ka 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 ke sa mi ya se mi ha se mi ha ba ma homba mi imbi mi si ki ya Koda, halore ni ona si a na hande, lore ni oso na la mi a ma uche, mi li ma se mi li ma so, hole me le me le me le mi mi anga, ho mi na kaeti, hey, here be under the bush. Shatu, guaraga dia kushagua. Shatu, guati gasti da bangwa makwewe weina, makwewe weina, hey, here be under the bush. Shatu, Guaraga dia kushagwa. Shatu, Guati gasti da bangwa makwewe weina. The time is come. Choo choo cha chi chi. I transfer thy old mentors. Njele dia kuchichi katsunge. Into the new wine. Chulele le che 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 che. Choo 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 choo. Hey ha. 
Behold my move wipe America. Aye. My move wipe the world. Aye. The world will be taken by storm. Aye. The world will be surprised. My thy excellence shall thy be thy ministry. Shall be thy, thy excellence shall minister, thy excellence to others. shall minister to others. Behold, thy church will be multiplied. Bread and fish will Bread be multiplied. Fish will be multiplied. You will lack in no areas of your lives. I fix your marriage. I fix your church. I fix your heart. I take you back to the first love. That which I started with you. Hey! Here be under Shatu, Guaraga Diaku Shagua, Shatu, Guadigasti, the Bangua Makwe Wena, Makwe Wena, hey, ha 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 ha. Here be under Adabosh, Shatu, Guaraga Diaku Shagua, Shatu, Guadigasti, the Bangua Makwe Wena, Tweke Tuaka Katiki Kikiako Kaka, Tuake Legia Diaku Sikita Hana, Hundred Tidin Abaka, also Mahetia Mahoba. Tititititi kabara da bako chiki kaku kitwa ka tweke lika kaka skwa ka kwetwe katwi mini aka uzende atu mini ama uzinga tekota epika koko 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 shipo koko shipo koko koko kipi pipi sato prika tosh dala hale hara na mahana he mia oki bikana ekli non stala kinrakuda Hambriki di bonsa la hambriki da Hondara di stei Handara di anderi da bakao tsingla hanga Glakli gongra haski da braha toko ushak la hapriki ti aka sanga Masanga maanga ma wongenge utete Ho praka dika paleiva Prava stoshen kina mastika te Station stosh ak ik toshen kita prosh tek Stick station ik a oba a station bite a bidon sa he kahi ga bash to gi bi daiden ki haki va sanda mahanga mitola niri na mau sheki flyero nasti na manda mere venya me mia na vasika farahana hey sakia ratatai hey masia mahose you na ni ashe. Why, 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 you na ye sa ye kale shalai yali lali ye leli na manga mi amasya na hai ili ye tu mi li ende mi na mause ki ala hai oh ramandi ye te yere de baby na ashia ka onga hey ka na mause ki aratandai. May, 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 Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Holy Spirit, the Holy One, Father, Father, Father. Close. Proto. I'm so excited. Today is another day where God is about to bring forth another transformation in your life. So happy to sit here and say God is about to change your life. He's about to catapult you to another dimension. And I know for sure there's a word for somebody. There's a prophetic revelatory experience about your experience. That prophetic revelation is going to take you into a place of manifestation. There are people that have been stuck stagnant because they lacked prophetic directions, prophetic instructions, prophetic words from the Lord. And today I'm sitting in the studio, I'm going to be prophesying to somebody watching me, sending the prophetic word over your life. Uh, I want to bless those that are watching me. I, I, I want to bless everybody watching me. I want to bless all the 
all, all, all the people that are watching me all over the world. Uh, I want you to share the broadcast before we go anywhere further. I want you to go bottom left and click share. Click share. Share the broadcast. Let somebody know that we are live. If you're on Periscope, if you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, wherever you're watching me from, I want you to copy the link and spread it everywhere. Let everybody know that we are live and direct. There's a prophetic word for somebody. You don't know who you're going to be touching. Your uncle who is on your Facebook, your cousin who is on your Facebook, your ex-boyfriend needs to know that the Lord is speaking right now. So copy the link and spread it everywhere on all your WhatsApp groups and copy the link and spread it and post it on Instagram, on Twitter, on your own Facebook page and share the broadcast wherever you are. Retweet if you're on Periscope. Uh, let somebody know that we are live. Amen. So I'm going to play my song that came out last week. We just said about the atomic prayer. You can download it on my on my website, the atomic prayer. Now we are about to we are about to, we are about to play what we call forever and ever. Amen. It it's a song that's been repeated and repeated. It's on my repeat. I don't know how many times I repeated this song. It's the song of the season. You you want to pray? Listen to this song. You want to prophesy? Listen to this song. This is a powerful song. I wrote it myself. Myself, I wrote it. It came. I was about to sleep. It started coming, and I started hearing the part that says "forever and ever." And I said, "Ah, nah." I began to work on it and making sure we produce well and stuff like that. So I I just want you to listen to this song as you are praying and preparing yourself for the prophetic. You don't come on my broadcast to be prophesied. You come here to meet God through prayer. So wherever you are, pray. And prophecy is God responding to your prayer. Your situation doesn't need me to lay hands. If you are not praying, if you don't have Jesus in your heart, you're wasting your time. You have to be saved, number one. Receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. After receiving Jesus, I want you to pray, right? If you're already in church, if you're already in Christ, I want you to pray and talk to God and say, God, this day is my day. Lift up your voice, begin to pray as you listen to this song. Some of you are driving. Some of you what? Uh, someone saying no sound. Someone saying no sound. Is it like we don't have sound? Everybody saying the sound is fine. One is saying no sound. I don't know what's happening. But going back to what we are talking about, pray. Let God hear your prayer so that he may answer you right now. There is a prophetic word coming to somebody so lift up your voice begin to pray everybody as you are listening to forever and ever if you have not yet downloaded this song go on my website prophetpassion.com and download this song right now all right proto
One thing I like about this broadcast here is it's not an ordinary broadcast. It's the, 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 this life-changing, there is the anointing, there is the presence of God, there is the touch and the move of the Holy Spirit here. Even before I begin to preach forth, to speak the word, to teach, to revelate, there is already an atmosphere. If you're in the spirit, you can feel it wherever you are. There's already an atmosphere, a special anointing that, that, that's moving. I want to challenge those of you that are starting their day now, that have not yet given an offering of the day, to go on prophetpassion.com. As you are praying, give your daily offering now. If you, you can, you can give a Thanksgiving offering. If you can, also you can give Allah Mala Sheikh. Bless you for your offering. You can, you can, uh, you can give a prophetic seed and say, God, I'm sowing this $70 or $50 or $20, whatever you have. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give this prophetic seed to connect to the prophet of God. And the prophetic words that are going to be given, I believe, is going to be, uh, I'm going to be one of those that are going to be pinpointed. Yesterday we prophesied over 30 people. And I believe today we're going to prophesy a lot of people because of our numbers. Uh, Cassandra and Pile, bless you. Bless you, Emmanuel, for your offering. And everybody giving, may God bless you and establish you. Uh, go to prophetpassion.com and give your offering of the day. We want to be praying with everybody and praying for those that are giving right now. Amen. So I want you quickly to go and give as I'm going to play our latest song that came out yesterday. This song is called I'm Going to Prophesy Tonight. It's not only for me, it's also for you. I wrote this song. I, was, I, I learned it from... Uh, from Africa and, and, and as I was driving coming here it started coming and coming and coming in my spirit and I began to play it and I began to listen to it and no I was coming from California and I began to build it up and build it up and it came boom then we finished it and sent it to to, to the guy in the studio and Calvin worked on it and it, it's so powerful it, it's so powerful uh, somebody stepping no sound. I said it's a deceiving spirit. <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> play this song right now, and I want you to, I want you to to, to listen to it right now as we are playing this song. Amen. <laughs>
traffic comes and the noise the saints tonight Can you feel it? The chains are broke The angels see tonight Don't want to miss when the prophet comes and the noise the saints tonight I'm going to cry Side tonight, heal the sick and open eyes, deliverance and victory, worship, praise and prophecy. I'm going to pray. Side tonight, heal the sick and open eyes, deliverance and victory. Uh, something tells me that today is going to be another dimension, it's going to be another realm. And I also believe it's going to be a big realm. I want to bless God for people that are connecting with their seeds and their offerings. God bless you, Edith Agas. God bless you, Nathaniel Abraham. God bless you, Gadisa. 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 Gadisa Measo. Measo. Kajau la 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 wani. <laughs> bless you, daughter. Uh, Molen LB as always. Bless you, Maria Taut. Bless you as always. Leonard Rice. Bless you as always. Tapiwa Clifford Mute Mary. Bless you for your offering. Uh, Lionel Mills. Bless you for your offering. Gaeli, how polite. Hi polite. Hi polite. And everybody giving their offerings. May God bless you. May God establish you. I want to play my last song before we get into the prophetic now. And the song is titled, uh, it's not really a song, it's, a, it's an instrumental. It's a prophetic instrumental. Marabasata uh, Bahati. I want you to, I want you to share the broadcast, everybody. Share the broadcast as you're listening to this prayer, last prayer, because we are getting into the prophetic. These are prophetic instrumental. Listen to it now in Jesus' name. You can download it also on my website. God bless you.
God bless everybody watching me. This is the God for Prophet Passion Java. Excited to sit here and say today it's another day in the prophetic zone and I'm going to be ministering together with my spiritual son as we did yesterday and touch many lives. God is going to touch and bless many lives today. And I want to bless and pray for those of you that are giving offerings. I can't believe George Sanders is sitting here and giving an offering. <laughs> uh, we have Ilona Paulino. We have uh, Shelia Lewis. We have Regina Brown. We have Lionel Mills. May God bless you for your offerings and a lot of people that already gave before. May God bless you and take you to another dimension. I pray that God will cut up you to another dimension, to another level. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. So today I'm in the studio sitting together with the great prophet Walker, uh, the great prophet the honor, Bishop Papa, Sanders, honor. the only general that I know in Houston, Texas, who can spin things upside down. Oh, uh, I'm so excited and humbled to, for you to be with me here on this broadcast. Yesterday, you spoke about our encounter the first time we met in in Houston, that the Lord opened my eyes and I saw you before you even arrived. Yes. And I told the ushers, reserve these seats for these uh, people that are coming ABCD. And it was, according yes. to the site that I saw. And you said then, I gave you a prophetic word of what happened in your bedroom. Yes. Describe your bedroom at 3, yeah. 3 a.m. <laughs> on a Saturday. <laughs> So crazy, somebody says, oh, prophet, you get in people's bedrooms oh, at 3 a.m. I got scared. <laughs> I said, oh, my God, what did he see? My God. I said, I said, I said in my defense, I, I, I only see spirits. <laughs> uh, but, uh, Praise God. <laughs> but uh, we thank God uh, this six years now and we are still sitting on this uh, on this uh, on, on this live broadcast together which yes. I wish to have spiritual sons and daughters around the world that I can connect with and bless and build in the prophetic that after six years from now they will say I was watching a live broadcast I went on the website prophetpassion.com and I clicked the button that says sonship and I became the son of prophet passion six oh. years later we're sitting with him in the studio and it is my duty to always promote my spiritual sons to help them to push them to bless them to build them prophetically glory, glory. and when i look at you to be honest i'm happy i'm happy when <laughs> i look at you i feel like praise wow God. i have someone who can minister the word yes uh, paul paul ta, ta, tadamali tadamala bless your offering yes so i uh, uh, i just want you to welcome everybody and and, and lead us into and do one or two so we can start in the prophetic and, and teach and prophesy to people right here. Wow, Papa. Once again, it is an honor. It's always a blessing and a privilege to be with you. It's nothing like being home with Papa. I am so blessed to be here. To those of you that are on this broadcast, I speak blessings over you in the mighty name of Jesus and the presence of my spiritual father. Oh, my God. Listen. 
Today, I want you to know this is going to be a day of victory. Yeah. Even as I was laying in the bed last night, Papa, the mm. Lord ministered to me concerning victory. Victory over every spirit that has plagued your life. I'm telling you that on this day, I don't care what it is. We, we Papa, we want to go deep today. We want to we, we want to deal with prophetic solutions. We have deep. <laughs> but when we call it deep. Oh, mm. so much. Oh, Papa. It's so much. Now, oh. now, now we are staring something in my spirit. When you say deep. <laughs> to, yes. Deep, deep to the impetus, yeah. to the antecedent, to what, to the origin wow. of, 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 of what's going on. Why the sickness? The why the infirmity? Cause. Yes, yes. What's the root Michael, cause? Why, why can't you go forward? Why can't you walk in promotion? Oh, uh, and, and Papa, it was so deep because even even last night, it's like the Lord took me in a vision, and 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 I actually was face to face, like with everyone in life that tried to hold me down, that tried to tell me that I couldn't be what God called me to be, that tried to tell me that I was less of who God said that I was, and the Lord gave me the vision of me going forward anyway, of rising above them all. I'm sending a prophetic word in advance to let you know that you're going to rise above it all. You're going to rise above the confusion. You're going to rise above the scandal. Oh my God. Last night your spirit yeah. was taken out of your body. Yes. My God. And it, and, 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 and it frightened me because I was in the face of some really ugly people. And the Lord showed me the root cause of, of, of why I talk about the ugly forward. people, are we talking about their face? Yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, we are talking about bad people. Oh, bad people. All bad. right, all right. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the folks that, that came against me, he revealed people that prayed against me, that, that, that fought against me. While I was in the bed sleep, not even thinking about things, he revealed to me people that were still up at night, thinking of ways to bring me down, to, 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 to cause me not to make it on the job. He showed me the, he showed me the secret meetings that were taking place concerning me and concerning other people that were living for God and, 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 and how the enemy plots because the Bible tells us that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. Yeah. Uh, we wrestle against spiritual wickedness nice. in high places, principalities, dominions, thrones. That's why you have to understand spiritual order. You need to know something about the enemy. And the Lord took me into the enemy's camp and I saw the ones Ooh. that brought Scandal against my name. My I saw the ones side. that brought accusation. I saw the ones that wanted me to walk in a spirit of fear mm -hmm. and of intimidation. Yeah. But the Lord said, I'm delivering. It's like he lifted me up Karada and delivered me side. from all of Karada them. You don't hear what I'm side. saying. He showed me that, 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 that there were so many things. Oh, Brock, I I, I'm going to make some people mad. He even showed me the organizations and the societies that I was a part of. And he said, you didn't know it, but this is holding you down. Come out of it. We, 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 need, oh. we, we need to, 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 to break it down right there. Oh, bro. These please. organizations are not drug organizations. No, no, not drug not cartels. prostitution. Not prostitution. These are ministries. Yes. These are churches. <laughs> Yes. Well, somebody's in trouble. <laughs> oh somebody's my God, in I trouble so because there are people that are in a church. Yes, Papa. Which is full of ugly people. Yes. Yes. Ugly pastors. Ugly. When we talk about ugly pastors, we are talking of people that suffocate your gift. Yes. People that manipulate your assignment from God. Yes. We are talking of people that says you should just pray and remain as you are. Yes. You go to that church for ten years. Yes. No change. Oh, no oh, growth. Oh. You can't no prophesy. Change. You can't heal the sick. You can't deliver the bound. You you are you you, you, you can't cast out a demon. You can barely preach or teach. You can't even <laughs> teach. You are not allowed to yeah. teach. They say it's for the pastors. Right, right. That's right, Papa. These are some of the churches that says women can't preach the gospel. Oh no, they won't don't let dress a woman like touch this. It. <laughs> uh, I don't want to talk about it because yesterday we we're laughing over my black head here. <laughs> <laughs> Someone says, uh, are you trying to hide? Uh, maybe are you growing a, a, a body? Oh, no, no, uh, no. Nah. Nah, 
I am just trying to put some waves and stuff. So, but yeah. going back to that, uh, how can one break out as you did? You you came out from such places. You came out from such places. Those churches. How can one break out now oh. from churches and ministers and pastors like that that holds you when God is releasing you? It's a it's a continuation of what we talked about yesterday, Papa. It's 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 bringing the wheel under subjection because a lot of us we didn't want to leave these organizations and societies because we got comfortable in them. That we, that was your church, that right? Was your right. Family, that right. Was where you grew our up. Our family. We we we. I mean, we ate together. We hung out together. Maraca we went shopping Jesus. together. We stayed we stayed up talking on the phone, joking. This was your family. And, and, and it's hard to break away from familiarity. Change is a constant, but change is the hardest thing that a human being will ever go through because of the will of man. And you've got to and, and you've got to you've got to be like Jeremiah. You've got to hear that small steel voice. And you've got to say, you know what, this, you, you know, it's, 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 almost, uh, it's almost like being a culmination of all the prophets. Because I think of Abraham. Yeah. When God told Abraham, hey, look, I know you love You're your people. My message, man. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Papa, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like because just, God was speaking to me today about Abraham. Yes. I, I'm going to go deeper later on, but you, no, no, I, I, says, I, I, Abraham, I, come on. Yeah, yeah, he says, come out. He said, I know you love your kinfolks, but I need you to get away from all your crazy kinfolks. Come from your people come out from your people and, and 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 go to that place which I have prepared for you Abraham is like well where is it Lord he said you'll know when you get there so uh, you have to have that faith because most people are afraid to do it because they don't know what happens next I tell people all the time this is how faith works and and this is funny because I make the people in Houston laugh whenever I say this yes. I said if you were laying in your bed in the middle of the night and an angel, whether it was Gabriel, Raphael, Ragiel, you, you, you name it. They come and sit on your bed and they say, listen, I have a word for you. Yeah. In, in, in two months, Bye. you're going to lose your job. Woo. In two months, you're going to lose your home. In two months, you're not going to have any money. You're going to be walking from pillar to post. And you're going to go through that for three months. But at the end, you, you're not even going to have transportation. But at the end of that three months... You will receive a financial miracle that's going to give you enough money to do whatever you want to do and bless everybody that you want to bless. And it's going to happen on this day. My God. If you got that word, the, you would be saying, Lord, take everything away. You, you would be counting down the days to that two months when you lose your job. Mm -hmm. And when your boss say you fired, you will say, thank you. I, I, I thought you would never do this. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. You would, you, would, you would rejoice going from pillar to post. You would rejoice going to the bus stop to catch the bus because you didn't have a car. Because you knew that at the end of that three months, you, you were going to be living like Donald Trump every Every day you had to eat beans from a can. You would be rejoicing because you knew that your blessing was on the way. Yeah. And I tell people, faith works the same exact way, except the angel hasn't sat on your bed and told you that you're going to the next level. Ooh. And see, that's the problem that we have as believers. Because we haven't had that revelation that, oh yeah, this is where you're going to be in the next six months. We're afraid to move. But I'm telling you ahead of time. I'm telling you that La prophecy has already taken Man, place. Prophecy us. is only what God has already manifested to you that is being revealed in the realms of man. Don't be afraid. Move. Go prakita Oh, let me get myself together. I'm just, uh, clothes are going everywhere. Look, don't, look, look, I'm telling folks, I, I had to take that plunge. Did I lose friends? Yes. Uh, uh, I, I'm telling you, Papa, for like, um, for like a year, nobody nobody asked me to go preach. Nobody invited me. N n nobody invited me. Maybe maybe one or two invites because they couldn't find nobody else to preach. I got no invites. I but was before they used to invite. Oh, be, 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 before then, I kept a full schedule. I was tired. Oh, before then, I probably would preach two in two or three engagements in one in in one Sunday. But but 
but God gave me a promise. I was like Abraham. I did not know where I was going, but as long as I followed the voice of God, I knew that I would make it to my destination. There is somebody <laughs> watching us right now <laughs> yeah. who is caught up in the same situation and somebody is afraid to step out because of the people around him, because of the family, because of ABCD. Yeah. But as the man of God was raised by, by God, God is about to raise you too. Hallelujah. You don't have to wait for an angel to appear in front of you. Yes. What God said must trigger the faith in you. Let me talk about faith a little bit. Please, Papa. Faith <laughs> comes by hearing. Yes. Not by seeing. So we don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. Mm. Now, this is what happens. I'm, I'm going to talk to somebody watching me right now. Mm. This is what happens. Faith does not change you. God changes you. Yes. Faith does not give you a million dollar. God gives you. Faith does not make you prophesy. God makes you prophesy. But faith is the bridge that connects me to God. I'll give you an example. Uh. If you are drowning, uh, you are in the middle of the sea on your jet ski and you bump, boom, and then you go down and you are sinking, you stretch your hand and you call for help. You stretch for help. Your stretch for hand, your stretching of the hand and calling for help did not save you. But the lifeguard who is going to stretch his hand and hold your hand and pull you is the one that saved you. Yes. Uh, let, let, let me put it together. Oh. If there is fire in the building and you are on the third floor and all fire is surrounding you, you don't know where to go, and the lifeguard comes and then they stretch their nets and they say, Jump. My God. You jumping did not save you <laughs> the net did not save you but the lifeguard who straight this the, the, the net saved you mm. when god is about to do something for you he would send somebody who would draw the net for you to jump yes it's not your stretching of the hand that saved you because a lot of people stretch their hand cried for help and they sank and they drowned and they died because nobody was there to take them out. Mm. God is saying, I already spoke to somebody. There is somebody watching me. You are caught in between living by faith and living by sight, living by money, living by mm. faith. What should I do? Where should I go? Jesus. What am I going to do? I received a prophetic word. I should be doing this. What about my family? What about myself? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Glory. God is going to take care of everything you are in need of. Hallelujah. He says, take care of my house, I'll take care of you. Take care of my business, I'll take care of you. Mm. God spoke to the bishop, the prophet of God. Mm. Leave everything you are doing. Leave your job. Leave this. Leave your church. Leave this. And right now, God is blessing him. He is Hallelujah. running a ministry. He is running a good life. God blessed him with a double story house and is moving away. Why? Because once you focus on God, bishop, Mm. What can you say to everybody who is afraid to jump? Because uh. the, the net can be spread. <laughs> they can tell you jump. <laughs> I love your example. They, they, they can tell you jump. <laughs> but because of fear, what happens if the, the, the net breaks? What happens when... Because faith is, is, is an abbreviation. <laughs> uh, fear. F-E-R-A-R. -E False evidence appearing real. real. Yeah, the Bible <laughs> says when, when, when Peter saw the wind, yes. he began to sink. How can you see the wind? <laughs> Nobody have ever seen the wind. Oh. How can Peter see the wind? It's fear projecting things that are not real. Yes. Somebody is afraid to start a business because I'm going to lose all my money. Mm. Fear is speaking mm. to somebody. What are the words you can say to somebody watching us right now that this mm. is what you need to do for <laughs> you to step in before we begin yeah. to teach about the prophetic? I, I love your example, Papa. Yes. Because what many people don't understand that even though they feel comfortable yeah. in the realms of the feet in the of the spirit, yes. they're surrounded by that fire that you're talking about. Maraca, this is a fire of discontentment. This is a fire of depression. Mm. This is a fire of despair. This is a fire of stagnation. Yeah. This, 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 this is a this is a fire of of lack of disappointment of setbacks. You're already in the fire, so. If you stay there, you're going to burn up anyway. So you might as well take the jump. I tell people this all the time. Hold what up, do up, 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 I up, up, have up. to lose that I have not already lost? Hey! What is it that... 
<laughs> bring that again. Uh, bring it back. What is it I have to lose that I have not already lost? What do you mean? Uh, explain better. I, I, I love that statement. I mean, I, I mean, without the Lord, without following God's command. I already I mean, lost it. Yeah, I've already lost friends. Without following God's commands, I already have enemies. Without following God's command, I've Woo! already had a broke bank account. Without following God's commands, I've already had people betray me, bring my heart. But the Bible says in John 10 and 10 that the thief cometh to steal, kill, and destroy. But. Oh, I tell people, watch Lost the butt. Lost to <laughs> Yeah. But I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. If I'm going to live a messed up life anyway, I might as well turn it. I might as well take that jump into the net because Ooh. God has a greater blessing for me. And that's the point that we miss. Yes. I, and, 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 and right then when we started talking, Papa, I saw a woman that's in a relationship where she's being abused and being beaten. And, 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 and she's staying there because she's saying, but this the only man I got. This the only man that loved me. And there's I got not even a wedding oh, in their life. They oh, didn't not even a wedding. False evidence appearing real. God has a king for you that he has already tailored and groomed. He's tailor-made him just for you. My You're going to have to jump out of the fire. I feel like the four, I feel like the four lepers in, 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 in front of Samaria. Why should I wait here until I die? Under, uh, understand that, that, that you're already in desperation. Lord, I, I didn't mean to go there, Papa, but, mm. but, but it hit my spirit. The four lepers dur during the time of famine when the king of Syria had Samaria, had it surrounded. Y'all know the story. It's in the book of Kings. There were four lepers there. No food, no resources could get into the kingdom. The lepers were outcasts. They couldn't even go in and starve and die with the people. What did they say? They say, why should we wait here and die? We're already lepers, so there's a death sentence. To be a leper means there's a death sentence God, on your life. You're going to die anyway. My they said, why should we wait here and die? If we go into the city, they ain't got we no die. food. We're going to die. If we go, if we stay here, we're dead. But if we go to the enemy's camp, they might have mercy on us. They might feed us. But let's just say that they want to take us out. Guess what? We were going to die anyway. They just took us out of our misery. And the moment that they made a decision, number one, make a decision. You want to know how to come out of it? You want to know how to put new wine and new wine skins? Number one, make a decision to come out. Yes, your mother may talk about you. Let me tell you something. I'm not ashamed to say it on, 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 on national social media. I lost family members when I made this decision. I got family members that I love, but when I made the decision to follow God, they don't, they don't so, want so, nothing so, so to do was, with me. So it was a stand between your family members yes. and Jesus. A family members and Jesus. And you picked Jesus over I picked them. Jesus. But how was it like? In oh, your heart. In my heart. How, how was it? Oh, it, it, it was scary, y'all. It was heartbreaking. It still hurts me to this day. Because so it's you, not you, easy. It's not easy. You love your people. You, you love your people, but your people may not love you. I'm, I'm just going to be real with it. You've got to make a decision. Jesus said, anybody that loves father and mother over me, you're not worthy. Hey. That's what he said. He said, he said, if you love, he said, you can't Cost even let die. the love of your mother and father stand in front of this. Why? Because never forget, they're only your biological parents. God used them as the mechanization to get you into the earth realm. Your true father is always the Lord of all flesh. God told Jeremiah, he said, I am the God of all flesh. You know, you got to be careful with that because some virgins say, I'm the God of all mankind. What they don't understand, when he says, I'm the God of all flesh, that means I'm the God of everything living on, on this planet and any other planet that I created. Because even Paul said that every beast Ooh. has his own flesh. Ta -ba -ba. Fish has his own flesh. Reptiles, mammals, birds, and then there's man. And then there's stuff that we don't even know about. I'm not going to get into that. But God said, I'm the God of all flesh. Is anything too difficult for me? 
And that did it for me, y'all. You got to you got to make up your mind. You can't be like the rich young ruler. He chose money over, over Jesus. Jesus. Oh yeah, somebody somebody said in the parable. Somebody said, "Let me get married and then I'll come." Somebody said, "Let me let me get my business right. Let me buy this land then I'll come." No, God is looking for you right now. You've got to make a decision to get out and to get out now. If it's a bad relationship, if it's a bad habit, if it's something you know that's destroying you, because I'm going to say it like one bishop said, if something is not increasing you, ultimately it's going to decrease you. Oh, it, oh, oh my God. If it's not being a blessing to you sooner or later, it's going to be a curse. That's Bishop Sanders. You, <laughs> that came from me. If something is not being a blessing to you, ultimately it's going to become a curse. So you have got to come out of it. Make that decision. You're going to be scared. It's going to it's going to break your heart. If you've ever been in a bad relationship, and I've been in one, I thank I thank God for the prophetess Latresa Sanders. She 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 changed my life. She was a blessing from the Father of Light. Let me tell you, if you ever been in a bad relationship, you thank God when you come out of it, Papa. You look look look. Are you going to be lonely? Yes. Or is it going to be cold that winter? It may be cold. Everybody likes to be warm during the winter but to get what God got for you you may have to be a, you may have to put on an extra blanket Ooh. this winter but when the springtime come God gonna have you hooked up can Ooh. I say that papa yeah I'm telling somebody understand that for this small sacrifice you're going to do it's going to give you a lifetime of blessing even God said so, come so, from so, among so, them so <laughs> sacrifice does not start by you giving money oh no 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 it's no. by you giving yourself oh God. yes Oh yeah, sacrifice starts with the heart, Papa. You have to give your heart to Jesus. <laughs> yes, yes, you give yes. your life to Jesus. Surrender, yes. surrender everything. Yes, Papa. Mm. It 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 starts there. Over oh, There are people that God is about to impart in the prophetic. Obvious, yes, through us here. Through yes, everybody watching us. There's a prophetic move that God is going to release over the lives of those that are watching right now. I sensed last night as I was in prayer that there are people that are going to receive prophetic uh, visitation. Uh, it so happened this that it was crazy. Uh, we played pool and I lost it though. though. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after we finished playing pool, uh, I, I, Wallace texted me and says, Papa, you are late. You're supposed to be doing a bonus prophetic class. Because I have a prophetic school that started on Monday, you can register if you are not yet in the prophetic school. So I said that to teach them in the prophetic school. Something weird happened. I never did that before. I'm reading the scriptures. I'm revelating, I'm talking <laughs> about the Revelation chapter 12. And I began to doze. I'm like, what's happening then? <laughs> My son is reading and I'm, I'm back. And then I, I, I go up, I'm not sleepy. I come down, I'm dozing. I go up, I'm not, I, I came down with my son, I feel like, oh, something is weird. So when I went up, I sensed in the spirit, God wants me to pray. There is an encounter in the realms of the spirit. Something is about to take place. So oh I, I prayed as I was meditating, my spirit was taken. Oh, Papa. And the God began to, 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 to correct me over our yesterday broadcast. And he says, yes, you did, Professor. Yes, you did touch many lives. Many people changed, but you left imparting my spirit to people. Oh. He says, my spirit was available to be released into the lives of people. My but God. it needed a prophetic it needed a prophetic word, a prophetic instruction that will open people's spirit for the spirit to get inside of them. Yes, Papa. So I believe there are people that are watching me here. It's not a mistake. You watching me here is not a mistake. God sent you here that I may speak a prophetic impartation, prophetic implantation, and prophetic replication. Uh, son, what do you understand about prophetic impartation, implantation, and replication? So that somebody watching here can understand the difference because there are people that have never prophesied that are desiring to operate Ooh, in the prophetic. Of uh, let's start, uh, if you don't mind, Papa, I want to start with, with, with implantation. Right. Please, please feel free to correct me where my understanding is bad. Uh -huh. But with implantation, implantation is very special yeah. because a person does not even have to have a gift. You are empty. <laughs> You're empty. And the man of God, the prophet, can touch that person, can, can, can lay hands on that person and plant a that gift. Form. Yeah, he can plant it in that person that never had it before. Because that, Paul says it is the way you are saying it. There's nothing to correct. Yeah. He, says, he, he says, Timothy, my son, yes. stay up the gift that I planted in you through laying on events. 
Yes. It was not planted by God. Yes. It was not planted by the Holy Spirit. Mm. It was not planted by anybody. It's, it, 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 it's Paul himself saying, Timothy, I planted a gift in you. Mm -hmm. so, 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 how can one position himself to get into that level of implantation? Implantation. In my spirit, Papa, I feel that there are many people that are on this broadcast, they want implantation because the prophetic is new to them. They've Ooh, never, da, 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 they've da, 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 never da, da, da. seen it this way. So, 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 so what they need is an Just implantation. Oh, Brokadava. Yes, they, they need to be introduced to into the, prof the prophetic. Into the prophetic. So, so, so they need the implantation. Because I know everybody has to be part of the prophetic school. That's why we, we, we made it extra cheap to like $200 the whole month. Uh, we made it extra cheap because everybody needs the prophetic. Yes. But now it's a prophetic release because of the instruction by the Holy Spirit yes. that somebody watching here is going to be blessed. Somebody watching here is going to receive it. So. I feel the anointing of God. So the, 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 the word is Marapo Soto Bohosa. The word is somebody is waiting for implantation and you are going to receive it. But, but number one, make a decision as the bishop made a decision. Make a decision that will change your life. Number one, watch this. Mm -hmm. Come out from your people. Yes. We are not just talking Number about one. witches and evil people and ugly people. We are talking about even some pastors that are misleading you. Yes. We are talking of churches that are misdirecting you. We are talking of people around you that wants you to be comfortable in a normal Christian life when God wants you to be spiritual. And what makes you spiritual is not the Holy Spirit. What makes you spiritual is the knowledge you have. A witch yes. can walk past the wall because she is spiritual. Yes. A satanist can walk on water because he is spiritual. But he is spiritual not because he is a devil. He is mm. spiritual not because he has the Holy Spirit. No. He is spiritual simply because he has known something that makes him walk on top of water. Yes. Glory. She knows something that makes a fly sitting on a broom. What is the child of God does not have. Right. So what I'm saying to everybody watching me is there is a true knowledge that you need to operate in a certain realm as a spiritual person. And, and, and what God is saying to everybody watching us right now is uh, we, we, we are going to give them the knowledge of how to operate through the nose, through the ear, through the yes. sight, through the test, through the hand. And I'm going to exegete from the many texts. Yes. Uh, but, 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 but the prophetic revelatory experience that God is there going to have you have today is implantation is real yes elisha was not a prophet no he wasn't but elijah implanted the prophetic yes uh aaron was not a prophet exodus mm. chapter 4 verse 16 says aaron your brother who is a levite right shall be your spokesman shall be your prophetic word mouth that yes. shall go before pharaoh why because god is having the man Moses to implant the prophetic on Aaron. Elisha, who received implantation from Elijah, meets Gehazim, who is a servant, and lays hands on the servant, and the servant began to prophesy. I'm talking to somebody listening to my voice right now. Hallelujah. That God is positioning you in a place called Elisha, <laughs> where you are going to receive a mentor from the Elijah, and, and I know your life will never be the same. And, and, and this is not God speaking, this is me. If you can, Find a $66 offering that you can connect with. My why God. number 66? 66 is the number of the prophetic, the highest level of the prophetic. That's why we have 66 books, the whole entire Bible. Yes. And we have the longest book of a prophet is the book of Isaiah. And it ends on Isaiah chapter number 66. Why 66? It's a prophetic number. And all prophetic numbers aim on number 66. Yes. Find your $66 offering. Go on the website, prophetperson.com. Give it now and position yourself. So, implantation now. Yes, Papa. Nobody has a gift. Right. But a gift has been planted in. Right. You. But That's now, Paul one. is saying, steer up the gift. How does one come to a place of steering the gift? Wow. I guess now we're on level two, which is impartation. Mm -hmm. um, an impartation, impartation, impartation. Imp We're not talking about the impartation, not implantation. Right, right. Implantation, you don't have a gift. Impartation, there is something in you, but it needs to be unlocked. Mm. It needs to be open. 
in impartation. Mm. Mm. You already have a gift. Yeah. A lot of times you don't even know it. <laughs> or you may not even know it. You may not even know My you have the God. gift. My and you need, and you need a prophet. You need, you need a man or woman of God to unlock you. You need one to stir it up. To, 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 to open it. My oh, God. Oh God, yeah. And 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 God knows that that's my personal testimony. You touch me and, and, and my wife and you just and, and the stretching is still taking place. It op oh it, it opened us up. It it activated us. My God. Uh, and, and, and you need that. Many many on this broadcast, they uh and that's the other group. They're 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 in the prophetic, but they want to go deeper. Uh, the, the, let the, me yeah. try to, to go deeper also on the word impart. Yes, Papa. Because impart is <laughs> I M P A R T. I am part. Impart. Yeah. So what we are saying when we say impart, impart, we are saying I am is me. I, am. I and the M is me. Daniel Patsanari, uh, Sharon Matisse, and those of you that are giving $66 offering, God bless you. I am part. We yes. are saying a part of me. Yes, Papa. I am the part that is now in you. The part of me is getting in you. The part of my prophetic is getting to the part of your prophetic. Yes. So not, not only are you prophesying with your prophetic gift, you are now prophesying with your prophetic gift and on top of that, my prophetic gift. Yes. So impartation is like one don't have a level that's a higher than the gift in his life. That's right. And you get another portion from another man of God. Right. And that person mm. is boosted to another level. Yes. I'll give you this example. If we have a car, let's say we have two cars. Mm -hmm. We have one car that's not starting and the other car is not starting. They are not the same. Because the other car is, 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 is without battery. Mm. And the other car, it has a dead battery. So if you have a dead battery, you are somebody with a gift that's not working. Right. But if you don't have a battery in the car, you are somebody who is in need of implantation. Right. So you need personal to drive with this car, come to your car, and put a new battery there, and your car starts running. Yes. But if you have this car with a battery, you now need profit person to take jumpers and <laughs> jump start your battery. Yes. There are people that need the jump start right now. Glory. Of the prophetic impartation. Prophetic impartation changes your life. And, and, and there is something about unlocking every job to bless you for a $66 offering. There's something about the unlocking that people have to understand. Many people watch me, they say, we are already gifted. What are you talking about? I'm already anointed. I have a special calling. <laughs> Why do I need to be unlocked? All right, le let me explain to you. Jesus is God. Hmm. Right. Who created heaven and earth. Jesus is God who created human beings, including John the Baptist. Yes, right. Jesus is so powerful. But his power is not seen at the age of two. Mm. His power is not seen at the age of four. His power is not seen at the age of 16. His power is not seen at the age of 28. In fact, we know what Jesus, we all walked into the temple at the age of 12. From the age of 12 to the age of 30, we don't know what he was doing. That's we right. don't even have a clue of what Jesus was doing. But at the age of 30, he made a decision that somebody watching me right now have to make that decision. He said, if I don't have somebody to unlock me, no matter mm. I'm God, <laughs> as long as I am in the human form, I need somebody to unlock what, what is What a revelation. Me. Oh, my so God. So Jesus walked and went to John the Baptist, and yes. he says, John, unlock me that I be able to minister in the prophetic world. Yes. And John says, I'm not worthy, Lord. I'm not worthy to untie even your sandals. I can touch you, you, yeah. you, you, your feet. But you want me to touch and lay my hand on you and take your hand and pull you into the water and bring you. I can't. You are too much. I mm. baptize with water. You baptize with the Holy Ghost and fire. Mm. And Jesus says, no, I'm God. I'm better than you. Passion, you are younger than me. Passion, you are not learned like me. Passion, I, I don't know if I don't, you don't, I don't have money like you, but he would say, <laughs> <laughs> he would say, Pilot Alexis, bless your offering. He, he says, no matter what, you are best, better than me. I don't mind it. 
Mm-hmm. There is a prophetic principle that says no matter how gifted you are, mm. somebody have to unlock you. That's right. And what somebody is waiting for is that season of unlocking because they are already gifted. They don't need implantation. Some need implantation. Some already have a gift. Mm-hmm. They already started a church. They already prophesied. They already healed the sick. But they can't do it in a large amount, in a great amount, in a right. higher level. And right. God is saying this is the day for them to be imparted in the prophetic world today and be taken to another level what else can you say about the impartation dimension you you said it all right there papa Mm. look i was a metropolitan bishop yeah had a church over fellowship could preach yeah knew 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 something of the prophetic but 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 understand you keep hitting the ceiling i'm I'm gonna say it again we fight against spiritual wickedness in high places true you've got to be able to find someone you you look look look, look, there's only so far i can go and see if you're wrapped up in pride you'll miss it every time if you're wrapped up in arrogance you'll miss it you need somebody to cover you every pastor needs a pastor every prophet needs a prophet you need somebody that has rank in the spirit that's that's why i've got to be a part of something and I'm partaking of the spirit of the Gotha. And that's what raises my rank. There are some demons, there are some spirits that can literally take me out that I'm not ready for. But because I am a part of the Gotha anointing, I got rank. I can, <laughs> I, I can stand, I can stand in the realm of the spirit because of what I am a part of. And that's what we're missing. You can preach, you got a ministry, but there are so many demons that you're still fighting. You got a ministry, but you don't have a marriage. You got a, you got a ministry. I'm just being, I'm helping somebody. I, 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 I want to touch, oh. touch something. When we talk about, when we talk about, about having the spirit of a prophet. Yes. Somebody will be yes. like, how can I have a spirit of prophet person? What are you talking about? The Bible never said Moses divided the spirit the Holy Spirit. No, it did. No, it did. Nobody he didn't divide can divide that. the Holy Spirit. Oh no! But the Bible says this: He took His Spirit. He divided Moses. And when His Spirit fell upon the seventy, they all began to prophesy. Yes, Papa. They all began to prophesy. Yes. And what people you have to understand now is when God is about to take you to another level, He sends somebody that takes you there. The Bible says in First uh, Corinthians chapter fourteen, we can all prophesy mm. one by one. Yes, yes. For the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. Yes, Papa. Yes. He did not say we can <laughs> prophesy because we have the Holy Spirit. No, he didn't he say He says that. the spirit of the prophet is subject, is subject upon thee. Yes. When Samuel imparted, implanted a gift in Saul to prophesy, so the Bible says when Saul went among the prophets, the spirit of the prophet yes came upon him and he began to prophesy among them somebody you need to carry a spirit of the prophetic that will cut up you to another dimension yes. and change your prophetic walk with god because we've been in tendencies that god yes. want us to move this direction but we are moving this direction and we are in a pedestal that god never put us from the beginning and right. when god remembers you the first thing god introduced to you is the prophetic right is the prophetic is the prophetic now replication is when mm. my spirit is now in you and you just become like passion Zaba, which is another dimension oh my god the bible says and all the disciples looked like jesus even in stature mm. they sounded like him mm. we, we, they spoke in the same language mm. this day we say you speak in the same tongue you say the same prayer you say the same forensic you dress the same you have the yes. same swag you have the same anointing yes. the same energy the, the everything becomes the same what it's a replication Asian. of this but can can you go deeper on what we call replication dimension? replication when, when uh, that's what i think about when you say replication yeah. i always think of elijah and, and, and elijah Elisha. and elijah because he went through all three stages he was he was implanted he was, he was Im- imparted he was imparted and then at the end <laughs> he he was replicated he said what 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 shall i do for you you followed me and understand replication comes from it the best 
replication can only come through submission. It can only come through partnering with the prophet to submitting under the prophet and saying, this is the spiritual father that God has given me to direct me, to show me the way. That's when replication comes. Elijah said, I, Elisha said, I'm not leaving you. I don't care if you go up the hill, down the that, hill, that, through that, the that river. Is, that, there is someone watching, yes. there is someone watching yes. by, by the name Duncan Cohn. Mm, Duncan Cohn. Duncan Cohn. Mm. I don't know if you can hear us, Duncan Corn. Bring me this camera, please. Duncan okay. Corn. Yes. And 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 we need to pray for this Duncan Corn because I'm about to release my prophetic spirit upon him. Wow. But there are things that he needs to correct in his life. Yes. Yes. Because yes. he is not on this broadcast because he needs to be on this broadcast. I saw it in the spirit the moment I saw his name. Wow. It's like you you you, you have him. a Samsung phone and you have an iPhone and you are watching me from the iPhone. Duncan but Cole, from right? your iPhone phone, there is a name of a pastor. I don't want to go deep on the name of the pastor because some of the people know this pastor. And this pastor made you to watch this broadcast and so that you may report. Yesterday, you were using a different account. Your real name is Lewis. No, oh. your, your your real name is Lewis. Prophesy. I'm going to connect with you, and I'm going to bless you, and I'm going to change your life if Music. you are able and if you are free. There is a blessing that God has okay. for you. Your real name is Lewis, and and, and the men of God have told you that private person is fake. Private person is fake. In fact, as I'm talking right now, there is an article that this man of God already wrote about me, and he is yet to release it tomorrow. Is yet to release it tomorrow. I believe it's, it, uh, 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 the, the, there's going to be a newspaper around Zimbabwe tomorrow that will be talking bad about Prophet Passion. You are, you are, you, 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 you are standing as, as those that are loyal and, and you are told Prophet Passion is not real and these prophecies are not real. But the Lord is saying your name is Lois. Your name is Lois. Jesus. Your, your, your mother's name is Elizabeth. 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 Elizabeth is your mother's name. She was born 1968. Oh. She died out of HIV. HIV. You 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 eager to prophesy, Jesus. but your gift was torched. Your gift was was, was crushed. And you no longer believe in the forensic. Yes, you hear from God prophecies. You prophesy to people small levels. And you were told all these prophets are fake. Look at these prophets from Nigeria, these prophets from Zimbabwe, these prophets from South Africa. All these prophets Jesus. are fake. And, and, and others are fake, yes. But the Lord is saying there is a great anointing upon you. God called you to be an apostle. I don't know if he's still here. God called you to be an apostle. Uh, you, you mustn't be shy to type. I know God is calling you. In mm. fact, four days ago, you had a dream. In this dream, it's like people were playing soccer. But as they were playing soccer in this dream, Jeez. I saw you getting in after the halftime of the soccer. I saw you getting in. As you were running and chasing somebody to take the ball, that's when you woke up. This is the dream you had four, years, four days ago. My God. God is saying there's a prophetic revelation that is coming your way, and there's a prophetic revival that's coming your way. Makoda Asko de Brantai Ebere Diesta Apribidi Bonsai. In fact, you are wearing a blue jean. Go but right now as I'm speaking to you, it's a site number 34, blue jean. You are watching me right now. And you don't know what to do right now. But the Lord is saying, it's your time of turnaround. You're standing between your next level or your stagnation. Come on, Duncan. Make a decision. Make a decision right now. Come on, Marosi Duncan. Jesus. 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 Duncan, if you're still here, I want you to type I'm here. And I, 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 I want you to, 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 to type so that I can keep going. Because the Lord is calling you, Duncan. Corn, 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 corn. Corn. Marava city. Come on, Duncan. Come on, Duncan. Abaraka Vasanti. Malaze Kadi Bonsai. Bless those that are giving their offerings. Rachel Williams, bless you. Uh Ribanto Star Abede Bensei Ebribidi Bonsai. Yes. Duncan, you in fact I'll call you Lewis. Lewis. The Lord is calling you. You are already um, uh, in, in Christ. You already fear God. Listen to your heart. Listen to your spirit. The Lord is calling you. And the Lord has a word for you. And I know there is a change that is about to come your way. Marika tosese abaraka badibonse. Loda banderi dibiando stain. Alright, I'm going to show you that God is with you. 
right now i'm gonna pray and the power of the holy ghost is gonna to touch you i believe god is gonna knock you under the anointing go to in it. the mighty name of jesus i release father if you have called me as your real prophet yes jesus lord prove to him right now prove to lewis prove to lewis let him know that there's a prophet in the house in the name of jesus touch I hear the Lord saying it is done. Mm, thank you, Jesus. I hear the Lord saying it is done. What can you say to people like, like this? Duncan, when you are up, please text us on this Facebook or, or, or <laughs> Glory. Text Glory. us. I know God has touched you. You are here. Marabada. What, what do you say to, to, to such people like that? People that come here to investigate. And people that comes here to take information and, and pastors that have that guts to stand and say he's not a man of God and send people they themselves can't be here. Well, what do you say to this kind of Papa, people? All I can say is that they're playing a very dangerous game. Mm -hmm. the, let me tell you, the Bible says to touch not the anointed and do the prophet no harm. He didn't even put the prophet in the classification of the anointed. He didn't even say the prophet was anointed. He put the prophet in a special class. He said, do the prophet no harm. Hmm. I, can, I can tell you that it is a once in a lifetime offer that you get from a prophet that will, that, that will personally give you an invitation mm -hmm. to come out from among them and come be in the light. Uh, all I can say uh, to Lewis, I won't call him Duncan, I'll call him Lewis. Lewis. What I will say to Lewis is that this is your moment, this is your season, and this is your time. God is giving you a message to take back to the haters. My if I can say that, God is giving you a message, Lewis, to take back to the haters, to let them know that there is a true prophet in the land. Mm. See, look, 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 the Bible says, even Paul, look, look, uh, 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 the Syrian king didn't know how, how, how Jehoshaphat, how they knew all the plans, how they knew to miss the Mas strategy. And he got his men together and he said, look, y'all be honest with me. Which one of you is working for the king of Israel? Mm -hmm. And one of the servants got up and said, uh, king, we all are working for you. But there is a prophet in Israel that knows what's being spoken in your bedchamber. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. When God gives you a man of God that can pinpoint you, that can locate you, can for forensically tell you what the situation is that is an invitation from God to get this together Lewis God is calling you right now he is ready to give they, you a turnaround I, I want everybody watching right now to write that uh, Lewis Jesus loves you everybody tell yeah me. Lewis Jesus loves Lewis you. Jesus loves you Lewis Jesus loves you Jesus loves you Jesus loves you uh, mm. I, I'm going to prophesy deeper because I know this is a turnaround of this uh, of, of, of this Lewis, this Duncan, Duncan Cohn, whose original name is Lewis. Mm. He's going to give his life to, yes, to many Papa. lives because there are millions of people that are waiting for him to be ministering to them. And, and this is the platform that God is going to take him to another yes. dimension. I see myself helping him and I see him growing. But I, I want to talk to you, Duncan Con, wherever you are. There's nothing to be shy of. There's nothing to hide. Jesus loves you and God is going to use you. God is going to use you. I, I just want you to type, I'm still here. There, there's a word for you. There's a word for you. I, I don't know what happened. Yeah, don't don't be ashamed. Don't and, be ashamed. Please don't be ashamed. I was not ashamed when when I came to Papa. I already had it made up in my mind that Sima, I was gonna Sima submit. Kabuma, I was Kabuma. gonna submit the church. I was gonna submit my ministry. I was gonna submit everything under the man of God. You got to make a decision. You got to throw that pride and that arrogance out the way. And Papa, may, you know, I'm I'm not being negative. Negative, but I got to say it many times when people come against a man of God or come against a ministry It's because people don't have that ability. Amen. They are intimidated and they uh, are afraid I call, them? <laughs> I call them old schools old schools. Yes, they are like John the Baptist. Yes John the Baptist is the new school. 
mm. and he moved with the word of God, introduced the baptism of water, and people are blessed, and he's doing all those things, and God is using him. But a new season came. Right. And it was now the season of baptizing people with the Holy Ghost and fire, and Jesus is doing great works. He can't follow Jesus, and he can't be with Jesus. After he just says, this is the Son of God, after he heard God saying, this is my only begotten Son, what did he say? Mm. He is sending people like this pastor. Right. He's sending people to check and he's it saying, out. check is he the one or shall we wait for the other? He's the one that says he is the one. Wow. He is the one that God showed he is the one. But now he is stuck. I'm talking to somebody that is in the same situation where the pastor is sending you here. I feel it. What are you checking when you hear the Holy Spirit? It confirms Ow. with the men with the Holy Spirit. That's the disciple that the, the problem with the Pharisees is they didn't have the Holy Ghost. Right. They mistaken Jesus for a devil. Yes, Father. How on earth can you mistake Jesus for a demon? Mm. It means you don't have the Holy Spirit. Right. Duncan, God is gonna touch you today. I, I know you are hearing this, and I know you are here. I, I know you are here. In fact, in the realms of the spirit, Duncan. Your girlfriend's name that you want to marry, her name is Pamela. Mm. And the Lord is saying, don't marry Pamela because she is HIV. She's going to destroy your life. Oh. And you mustn't be afraid. You already committed sex without protection. And you will not be afraid. You are covered. You are covered. You are protected. Nothing's going to come upon you. You can go, both go and be tested. Mm. And I tell you, you are going to be fine. She's not fine. Mm. I, that's a, I don't that's know how enough, to Papa, That's again. enough to make me run. And you. some of us we don't <laughs> prophesy. We don't My prophesy God. to be big. We are already big through prophecy. Right. We don't prophesy to impress people. We are not kids. We prophesy to change lives. Hallelujah. I, I, I may call there's a name man called Allen and Allen Allen 20 Allens come out. I'll say there's no one. The one I'm seeing is not here. If he's not here, he's not here. I don't die because he's not there. Right. I prophesy what I see. This is not guesswork. I know Duncan Corn, God have called you. Your real name is Lewis. God have called you. And 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 and, and, and I don't know what to express. Oh. I don't know what to express. But maybe we should uh, do the teaching and after the teaching impart people and then come back to Duncan if Duncan will still be here. But I know Duncan is logged in. Mm. I know this, but um, in the realms of the spirit, yes, Papa. there are five levels of the prophetic as we are going to do implantation, implantation, and replication. People have to understand this. Number one, we have prophecy in the realms of the north. Yes, smelling. Yes. Which is discernment of spirit. Yes. That is why when you dream of an elephant, if you dream of an elephant, elephant represents the gift of discernment of spirit. It's not called the spirit of discernment because discernment is to divide. Mm -hmm. So spirit of discernment means you have a spirit of dividing people. You have a dividing spirit. Wherever you go, you divide people. There are people with that spirit that divides people. They divide family members. They divide people at work. They deliver wherever they are. They deliver and deliver and, and, and divide people and stuff like that. It's called, it's called discernment of spirits, dividing spirits. We have evil spirits, good spirits, and... And, and human spirits, all right? So you have to understand nose operate that way. Now, the first person to operate in this dimension is Adam. Mm. That's why when somebody needs life, we do mouth to mouth, what, what, oh, I don't know, what do you call it? Mm. Now, Resuscitation. Resuscit resuscitating. But mm. I, 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 I see this Duncan waking up from the ground after being knocked by the Holy Spirit. Duncan Cole, we need you to type. We know you are hearing what i'm saying duncan we know you are hearing what i am saying and i know you are a man of god and i know a pastor sent you and you are here to i don't know what exactly you are in need of or the pastor is trying to write stuff i don't know but duncan there's a word for the lord god want to save you and touch you your girlfriend name is pamela you don't have to be hiding anything god is going to touch you and change you and take you to another dimension now the realm of discernment of spirit where you operate with the nose uh when when somebody collapses, we do mouth to mouth resuscitating right yes papa where you, it's mouth to mouth Whew. and somebody is is is, is back to, to to life but 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 god did not do mouth to mouth <laughs> because what god was doing was to impart his life in adam yes so that adam can operate in the prophetic so adam god breathed into his nostrils 
it was through the Noah's. Why? Because Adam was supposed to dominate all the animals in the garden. So whenever you get into a territory of the lion, without seeing a lion, you can know this is the territory of the lion through the Noah's. Yes, Papa. So Adam would descend in the garden through the mm. Noah's and pick it in the realms of the spirit. And there are people that when impartation, implantation, replication comes upon you, you are going to smell. It's like I'm prophesying in LA. I began to say, mm. I, I'm smelling money all over you. I'm smelling mm. money over you. And the man is laughing. And I said, I see millions of dollars coming. And within 48 hours, millions of dollars came to that person. The YouTube the videos on my YouTube. You can uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and, and, and wow. watch more videos. And it's a realm where... I was in Zimbabwe and I said, uh, I smell fire, I smell fire. It's like I, 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 there's smoke, there's smoke all over. Uh, my house got burnt out yesterday. Mm. I'm, crying. I'm prophesying through the nose. It's, you smell it and you prophesy. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, uh, I, I don't know, I think I was in Johannesburg. So I, I was in Cape Town in South Africa. Oh, the, the Duncan is here now. He's back? I received the touch of the anointing. Duncan, we know there's a pastor who sent you to be on this, uh, on, on this brass, b broadcast. You, call, you, you you have been following even this ministry and trying to see if he is real or not. You already have a calling from God. I meet back blessed for $66 offering. You have a call from God, but you are under a wrong pastor who is telling you this forensic prophecy is not from God. He's telling you these prophets are fake. He's showing you videos of other prophets and, and, and you've been doubting this move of God. You hear God and you know God have called you, but you, 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 you are confused about the forensic. Is it for you or not? God is saying mm. God called you for the forensic. God called you for the forensic. God called you for the forensic. Your girlfriend's name is Pamela and your real name is Louis. Say it's true. He said it's true? It's true. You, your he real name is Louis. And, and, and the devil... And he said, I didn't believe. He didn't believe. He didn't believe. That, that devil was, was holding you through your pastor. He was holding you through your pastor. In, in fact, I, I don't want to say the name of your pastor, but you, 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 the, the, you, your, your pastor's name starts with the T. And he's the one who's been feeding you this. These are not men of God. These are not prophets. Then they, they fake. These names are not well. Your real name is Louis. Your real name is Louis. Your, your mother's name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth is your mother's name. She died of HIV. And, 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 and this Pamela you are dating, she is HIV. God wants to touch you. God wants to touch you. God wants to, to, to change you. We were supposed to be married in December. <laughs> now, I, I, when we begin to prophesy, I'm coming back to you, Louis. Don't leave the broadcast. I'm coming back soon. But, 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 but it's a dimension of the nose yes. where you, you, you can nose. Now, this is the dimension of sight. I, yes, I, I looked yeah. and, and I saw the name Duncan Corn, and immediately the Holy Spirit says, No, this person is Louis. And mm. this person has been sent by a pastor. Mm. ABCD. I'm going to prophesy more. This is your day of a turnaround. Hallelujah. This is your day of your turn around god is going to change your life god is going to bless you do me a favor if you can share the broadcast on your page your pastor will see of this i believe god is going to touch him as well and make him repent hallelujah Marie, buddy, bon, glory salabadi, your I, I i don't know how many people have been following my ministry for years there's a video of mine that uh, that was removed when we are removing old videos on my youtube we you we uploaded a video of a pastor i was in zambia prophesying yes and this pastor never believed in the prophetic he was questioning and opposing the prophetic that's saying, one of the first not, videos i saw of you, Papa. You saw. and yeah. he says we will no 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 will not allow you to be here in zambia a, B, C, D. <laughs> and god touched him i began to prophesy accurately talking about the people that were having the uh the the, the people that called this person the phone which he had the yeah. pouch which was blue a b c d yeah, it was mind-blowing this man was like i never believed in the prophetic i thought all these things was a game i thought these things was fake right and i was in a Atlanta and I walked there's a man with 2,000 pastors the videos on YouTube it's called prophet passion prophecy into a doubting doubting man he has 2,000 pastors who works under him including prophets he books them around the world he, right. he works with prophets thinking it's a game and other prophets would tell him give me information to prophesy and you would go and investigate people and yeah. give him information mm -hmm. so he thought it's a game you walked in church I called his name he says how do you know my name I said the Holy Spirit told me he says nah 
The Holy Spirit does not work like I prophesied him. I prophesied, I told him the history, genealogy of his family, where his father is coming from, Italy, and the mother from Nigeria, and this and this. And she was like, gone, gone. Papa, you scared I him. I hit his girlfriend, which he was to marry. Yeah. They married after that. I hit his girlfriend. I described her body when I spoke about the hips. He, 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 he lost power. Papa, he says, I never him. believed in the prophetic until <laughs> tonight. I began to go deeper. And then I said, I don't need you to give me your phone number. I'm going to call you and shock you. Yes. <laughs> we are sitting two days later with his girlfriend. I called him. Yes. And it's like, who is this prophet? Who gave him my number? I said, the Holy Spirit. He began to laugh. And I prophesied over him and the girlfriend. And I told them the day they were going to be married. And they got married on that date. Papa, it was so deep. I don't know if you remember this. You told him, you said, I know how much money you have in your in bank your account. account. You? And he said, no, 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 please, please. He, he started he says, begging don't you, don't it. say it. <laughs> I said, oh my God. <laughs> so people you have to understand that God... He is in the business of blessing people. They are fake prophets. Yes. They are false prophets. True. And they are true prophets. True a prophet. fake prophet and a false prophet are different. Yes. A fake prophet is somebody who fakes. You put somebody on a wheelchair, somebody who's already walking, puts him on a wheelchair, and I can compete with a fake prophet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because everything he's doing is fake. Right. So he can call 29,000 names on one person, and that right. person is paid. So right. that person is like, yeah, it's true. Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. It's true. A fake prophet can just uh, put you in a coffin mm -hmm. and say you are dead. And raise you from the He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> right. it's, it's faking. Right. Then we have a true prophet who can fake as well. Mm -hmm. He's a true, but on this day, he doesn't have the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so he's under pressure with people. So he right. can just blink on his friend or whoever and say, oh, say this, say this. It's mistakes that people do in the prophetic. And you have to forget the prophets for that. You have to forgive the prophets for that. Once you know it's the Holy Spirit and makes mistakes, it's still a human being. Right. But we have false prophets now. A false prophet is dangerous than a fake prophet. Mm. Because he picks things in the spirit. God does not give the word to prophet person. Mm. He uses prophetic words in the spiritual realm. Mm. A true prophet is a spirit that catches a true word. Right. A false prophet is a strong spirit. Mm. Yes. The Bible says in John uh, 1 verse 40, and, 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 and the child grew with a strong spirit. What a strong spirit does is to pick what's in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So the magicians changed their rods to become a snake. They, they when sure Aaron did. changed his rod to become a snake. Why? Mm. It was a miracle in the atmosphere. Right. So whatever is in the atmosphere, they do it. Mm. So how do I know this is a false prophet? His behavior, his character, his fruits. By their fruits you shall know them. Yes, Papa. My God. So they can also prophesy names. Mm -hmm. They can also prophesy. So I, I don't think Duncan is wrong. Duncan was in a place where he is deceived by somebody who don't believe in the prophetic, maybe because of his past experience. He was with just the other like prophets. me. <laughs> he was just it. like me. But I pray yeah. in the name uh -huh. of Jesus for the touch of Duncan. We don't want to corrupt the teaching. Right. Uh, we spoke about the nose which is Adam. Adam was the first to operate with the nose mm -hmm. But then we talk about the hearing. Yes. Abraham was the first to operate in higher in this realm of hearing. He was yes. the ear. There are people that are the nose, Adam, and there are people that are the ear. Yes, Papa. Abraham. Uh, Abraham now hears the word, come out from your father's house and go to the place which I'll show you. He's hearing it direct from his ear. He sees the angel says, do not kill your son, your only son. He's hearing straight from the ear. These are people that operate with audible voice. If you hear inner voice, you are not the ear. Right. Only people like me that I have heard God speaking, and the way you are hearing me, I heard God speaking to me direct. Glory. You can uh, download my book, Good Evening Holy Spirit. I, I shared my experiences there. Where the Holy Spirit sits on the chair, and I sit on the chair, and He begins to speak to me. He begins to speak to me right away. He mm. begins to speak to me. And um, they, uh, there's a dimension now of, uh, of sight. Yes. And the first person that really operated in the realm of sight is Isaac. Mm. And people, they don't understand why is he called the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not the God of Abraham, Moses, and Elijah. Mm. Isaac was so great and deep. <laughs> there are things that are not written in the Bible, but he was deep. But when it comes to the... Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, he, he is, uh, the sense of touch is Isaac. 
Mm. That's why he, when he wanted to bless his son, <laughs> he said, "Come close, let me touch you." Yes. He was picking <laughs> through touching. Yes. And though what he picked was physical, he was deceived in his right. gift because there's what we also call. I, I want to talk to everybody who's ready to operate in the prophetic. You must be careful of this thing. This is a level where you, your gift can be deceived. Mm. And a lot of prophets in the Bible were deceived in their gifts. Samuel almost anointed the wrong person because of the outward appearance. Oh, yes. He was deceived in his gifting. Somebody can walk into your life with money and give you a lot of money above the money you have touched since you were born. That's deceiving the gift that can make you prophesy a wrong prophecy. Mm -hmm. Be very careful. Don't let money change your prophetic word. Don't let somebody's car change your prophetic word. Somebody can call you and make you sit in a nice Mercedes Benz and you have never been in a Mercedes Benz. My God. My God. It's then so because true. you are in that car, you start panicking and say, the Lord is saying you are a millionaire. The Lord is saying you are going to prosper. The Lord is saying your business is going to move. And that person's business is, 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 is uh, to kidnap women. And uh, <laughs> what do you call that? Well, human trafficking. Yeah, yeah, business. human trafficking. And that prophet saying, the Lord says your business is going to prosper. And I release the anointing in your business. I bless your business. Don't let deception deceive your gifts. Yes. Like Isaac's gift was also deceived. Because he was hungry and he wanted to eat. The same way Isaac, uh, uh, Esau was deceived mm -hmm. by soup. Right. He was also deceived through the gift of eating. Mm -hmm. hungry, hungry can make your gift be deceived. My God. Be very careful. Jesus. Don't let lack of food, lack of money, lack of whatever deceive your gift. Glory. Amen. That's deep. Marabaka soda Ooh, baba. That's deep, there is somebody you are watching me. You are watching me. There is somebody you are watching me. Uh, 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 I, I just saw you are in a place. Is, uh, I see you are dressed like 163. 163. I saw numbers. I saw three numbers. 163. I don't know what it is. And I, because I saw grace around. I, I was seeing you standing around grace. You are surrounded by grace. And uh, I hear 163. I don't know who that is. 163. And, and I keep hearing Elizabeth as well uh, to the Duncan. But. Um, to the Lewis, your or your your real name is Lewis. But 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 there is someone watching me right now, and and your address is like a one six three. One six three. I I don't know where you are watching us from, but talk to us if you're on Periscope or Facebook. Let me know who you are. There's a prophetic word coming to you. But 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 but, but then after that we 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 we, we see we we have a, we have somebody like 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 Paul mm. who says test and see the goodness of God. Mm. Uh, tests is a dimension of test when I was teaching my son Emmanuel uh, mm. Casey Emmanuel Pele and I was teaching him about the five dimensions so I, I was teaching him how to prophesy through Cassie tests mm. uh, I was teaching him through testing you know, like you you, you 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 can touch somebody and and and, and start the testing uh, bread bread uh, I'm testing bread 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 uh, what, 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 what is bread what is bread Oh, uh, I am a, I, I have a bakery. Mm. Simple like that. Uh, you, you, you could you could ask in the spirit, God. I, I want to convince this person uh, that I'm hearing from God. I'm hearing from God. I want to convince this person I'm hearing from God. Oh, I'm hearing from God. 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 Oh, what did he eat yesterday? Mm. Then you start testing rice. Mm. Then you can begin to, to to prophesy through through that test. Glory. Uh, uh, 163 wow. is part of my address. That's Regina. Mm. Be Regina be 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 Bernadette. This now is, is, is a realm of sight. Mm. And this is a realm of sight. Mm. And this is a realm of sight. And uh, once you operate in the realm of sight, what happens is it's, it's easy for you to flow and, and know that God is, um, is speaking to somebody. And uh, you, you see things. It's like I just saw 163, mm. and immediately I knew there is somebody watching whom God is mm, word, and God is going to change your life, and God is going to bless your life, and God is going to, 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 to change you and take you to another dimension. Glory. I'm going to prophesy and go deeper on you, but there is, um, and there is a, a, a site, I was writing my notes here, I'm trying to see about this site about the site about the site we'll seek a miracle on the little prahasco elizabeth mabivir said i live at 163 as well and there's a regina that said she lives at 163 
Oh, oh. there are two people. Yeah, but looks I like don't know two why people. on the one you're seeing, Regina, I am seeing it's not only one six three. Right, it's some but more. But when I am right. seeing the, the the Elizabeth, oh, it's Elizabeth. Yes. Because when I was prophesying, I had Elizabeth again in my spirit. Yes, sir, Elizabeth. Oh my God, Oko Pravasa. Now Jacob becomes the one I was writing it here. Jacob is the one that uh, that then stood as the gift of sight. He yes, the eyes. That's why you was able to see the invisible angel mm. with an invisible eye. Yes. Those are people, others, they close their eyes to see in the spirit. Some of us, we are opening and looking at you, but we can see something while you are seeing you. You can see an angel and a human being at the same time. Mm. It's a, it, it, it's, you, are, you are a sight. You are, you are the eye. You are the eye in the realms of the spirit. And um, once people understand that you are the eye, it's easy to operate in that dimension because if you are the eye, what happens is that uh, others, they, they, they have to go to sleep to, to dream. Right. But Abraham, um, Branham in Houston, Texas, the greatest prophet that died before, he testified that he would dream while he's is walking, mm. which is a dream walk. Uh, so you have to understand something that, that's very important. You, if you are the eye, develop your, real, your, your gifting in that realm. And some of you, once you receive this invitation, get in our prophetic school. Yes. Register in our prophetic school. There's a transformation that is going to take place in your life. And there, 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 there is a, a change that is, God is going to bring forth in your life and, and take you to a higher dimension. Marote BDB Akle Hebra Hasko. So going back, Adam is the nose. That's why God breathed into his nostrils. There are people that descend to operate in that realm. And there are people that are the ear. Who is the ear? Mm. Uh, Abraham. There are people that are the ear. They hear audible voices. Not only inner voice. They operate in an audible voice dimension. Then there are people that are the eye. Who is the eye? Who is the eye? Jacob. Uh, yes, Jacob. Jacob Those are it. people that can see clear. They can see the invisible world and the visible with their naked eye at the same time. Mm. But 99% of people, they don't do that. They have to close their eyes to see. Open visions are only for the people that are in that dimension. That are in that dimension. And then there are people that are the mouth, like, like, uh, like, like Paul. People that can test mm. and, 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 and prophesy through the test of uh, uh, sense of test. Mm -hmm. Then there are people with the sense of touch. I forgot. Uh, I didn't mention the sense of touch. Where when you're prophesying, you, you can start feeling like you're touching a baby in the womb. Like, uh, I, 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 I don't know. You, 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 you are so skinny, but I, I don't know who is pregnant. I'm pregnant. I just thought <laughs> I'm pregnant. You, 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 it's a sense touch. of touch. You, 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 you feel like you're touching corn. You're touching corn. Why is it I feel like, oh, I'm a farmer. I'm mm. a farmer. Somebody says, I'm a farmer, I'm a farmer, I'm a farmer. It's a, it's a dimension. These are, are, are five levels in the prophetic dimension, which one can operate with. You can operate in all these five dimensions. And, and there are people that are watching me that God is about to unlock them in these five dimensions. Papa, can I ask? It's just like people that do a lot of healing. They pretty much operate in the dimension of the touch because uh, is, is that the correct one? Because I know they might feel a back pain or they might feel a pain in their knee or something. Why yeah. is my knee hurting right here? I, you know. I was in Guyana recently yeah. and last month and I began to feel pain on my leg and said there's somebody with a pain on the leg. Oh. And she came out and I was prophesying to another lady and I had, I started losing power all over my right side. I said, well, you almost died of a stroke. Oh. I see you in America, you're on your bed, but there's a woman praying for you. But when you went to the hospital, it was struck all over the side. I wow. was just in my church about a week ago, and I prophesied to a man who was rushed into the hospital, and they placed him in the hospital. He had a partial stroke or something like that. Hmm. And uh, I prophesied him why I, I, I felt it all over my left hand. Oh. And I knew that this person almost lost his life through a stroke. So they are, those are levels that helps people to prophesy easy. You hear somebody saying, I, 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 I feel stomach pain, stomach pain. Like, I have stomach pains here. Right. You, you, you carry somebody's <laughs> sickness into your body. Yes. That's the dimension which the Bible says, and Jesus being moved by compassion. Ooh. 
Uh, you, 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 you feel the pain of that person. And, and then you, you, you don't have a choice but to heal the person because if you don't heal, you go with the pain. <laughs> so, so God will cage you in that dimension where yes. you feel what people are feeling. Sometimes you start feeling that uh, uh, heartbreak. Uh, mm-hmm. You start feeling that pain. Maybe God allowed you to have a heartbreak before a girl came into your life and says, ah, I no longer want to be with you. A guy came and he's no longer picking your calls. He doesn't text you when you change the phone and call you. Mm. He, he cuts and he blocks you and stuff like that. So I feel like somebody mm. needs that healing in my heart. I, I, I felt it as I was explaining. Somebody is in that situation. Mm. But I want you to understand that once you put you, God puts you in that dimension, it's a dimension where it's called body discernment of spirit. I teach it wow. in my prophetic class. I'm going to be teaching it next week as well and imparting people in my prophetic class. But it's a dimension that people need to operate with to the extent that if you meet a witch, you feel electricity. Yes. You know, which you feel a wave under your, on the soles of your feet. Mm. But if it's a Jezebel spirit, you feel like a wave. Mm-hmm. In your hand. That's why when you greet, yeah. you don't do the handshake. Right. When you greet, you put your fingers. Right. You greet someone because you're protecting right. yourself. Because this is a portal. Right. Right it's there. an entry point mm-hmm. where you can release the anointing into somebody. It comes out through this point. Do like or it can come inside of this. Right. So there's a demon called chain. I was cutting out a sat- I was delivering a satanist in Zimbabwe. And the demon came out and the demon says we are chained. So the demon says, saying, our duty is to stand as an ass at the church. Uh, and they greet people when they're leaving church. And they shake hands. We put something in them wherever they go and oh, The whole week, the people won't be able to pray. Mm. They'll be dry. If we would shake somebody and getting in church, they'll feel dizzy in the church. They feel like sleeping. They feel like what? It's a demon coach and it comes through the hand. So God protects you by putting that anointing in your hand. When you're about to meet them, you start feeling that wave right that means don't 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 don't, don't shake do your handshake don't stretch like handshake mm-hmm. but just use your fingers do like that. and bless and wow. if you Move and if you are from jamaica you say wagwan 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 yeah. you, 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 you protect your your, yes. your your entry point that they don't they don't drag you and, and make you lose your energy or your power mm. that's why every minister if you are watching you're out there learn this before you get on the stage to minister don't greet people you lose the anointing right they take the anointing they get the power before you get it to use it in front of everybody so you just have to greet everybody from a distance and bless people from a distance and know how to separate yourself and go straight to the poop don't go and sit and wait it 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 pulls back the anointing papa go straight to the poop what what can a preacher do because i even have this problem back in houston when you get to the church and you know that you need that time to prepare yourself it mm-hmm. seems like that's the time everybody in town they want to stop you they want to ask you this they want to ask can they have a word with you what advice could you give to ministers that deal with that problem uh the uh, the preparation before ministering what should they do oh what i can say to the people is they need to come to a place where be me (laughs) (laughs) i prepare myself two three days before the service right if i'm not doing a freestyle i've been doing a lot of freestyles this year but if i have a conference or big service i prepare myself two three four days before the service and i preach myself to myself and teach myself on the mirror and after i teach preach on the mirror i get into the shower because there's the instruction part of the preaching which you have to bring a solid revelation full of instruction and knowledge if yes. you're talking about the anointing you have to talk what is the anointing from the greek from the hebrew from what you need to be in the library you need to study what is the anointing google will help you better and faster what is the anointing verses that talks about the anointing what are the difference of the anointings in the bible the anointing upon samson the anointing upon daniel and the anointing upon paul what are their differences and you study and then how someone can receive the anointing and how can someone grow in the anointing you study all those things which you put in the first nine minutes then after the ne- next after nine minutes you go to the next nine minutes because you have four nine minutes in your preaching the next nine minutes what you're gonna do is to preach about your experience how you got the anointing because you want people to do what you did for them to receive what you receive then the third nine minutes you now talking about other examples of different men of God and the impact of the anointing and what the anointing mm. can do and uh, what the anointing did for others and what he did for you and the anointing in the scriptures then after 28 minutes 
you then get after 27 minutes the 28th minute you are not getting into declaration of that anointing into people releasing that anointing into people and inspiration inspiration that's when you hear my father bishop St. john saying touch your neighbor and say god is here and na, 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 and the keyboards and zin, 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 and you are running and you are you are emphasizing because we have different people in the church we have people that wants just a small teaching then they're fine then there are people that wants an example that's when i call people in front and say like this person is like this because there are people that operate with visual right and then you get to another dimension another dimension and you finish your preaching so once i do that in my mirror i leave the mirror i go to the shower it is in the shower where i learn to say touch your neighbor and i begin to do it in the shower because in the shower everybody can see <laughs> So I, I, I train everything in the shower. I do my meditation. Uh, last week on Sunday, I was on the ground and, and, and rolling on the ground, preaching. Yeah. Uh, and when she touched, it's a drama that you create in the shower through your meditation, through visual pr preaching. And, and you need to see it. My father will preach a message called the Holy Ghost sit on me and you will take the chair. He's not starting on the pulpit. He's <laughs> on the shower and he's saying sit on me. And he's moving like that. You, you have to do all that. Then you store the anointing. Mm. You pray. Some of you, you have to fast before you go to the service. Make sure you're away from people. You don't greet anybody. You don't touch anybody. You don't talk other things that you distract your message. Don't watch any other teaching or preaching from another preacher because it's going to dilute your message. Right? Then when you go, go straight to the pulpit. Don't sit first. Don't try to sing and wash it. No, no. Go straight. You are charged. You need to go and fire that message to people. Then when you're on the pulpit, deliver the best you can and preach like this is your last time to preach. Even if there are three people, because you don't know you can preach to 10,000 and never change anybody. Right. But you can preach to three people and one of the three can fill a stadium after two years. You don't know who you're preaching to. Jesus. Do your best no matter what then after that you inspire you prophesy you do your best when you finish if people don't sow into you don't give them the anointing it's a principle jesus says go and preach if people refuse to give you water food anything including water don't bless them so mm. what happens when people don't sow into the word into the prophecies into the preachings into the healing that you do go straight that's when you hear me saying close your eyes close your father in the mighty name of jesus i bless everybody then i disappear because whoever touches you at that point, they take the anointing. Which is wow. what you should be doing. In mm. Africa, they jump on me. They take the anointing. And the, the food, when I release the anointing, the moment I start eating, the anointing starts coming back. You, can, you could feel it. You saw my video with Pastor Benny in the other day. Mm. Pastor Benny says he started feeling the anointing. Every time after he, he, he preaches, he feels the anointing gone. But later on, the anointing starts coming back with me. Once I start eating or drinking, the anointing starts coming back. Mm. I start feeling a, a refill. Sometimes it's like a flow moving from my head, going down into moving. I, I, I feel it moving all over my body. Sometimes it goes zzz, down, zzz, up. It keeps coming. Sometimes it's like electricity running all over my lips or my, my, my teeth here. Mm. It's the anointing being restored. But the principle is when people connect to you in that charged moment, release the anointing. Release the anointing. That's what you're supposed to do as a preacher. I don't know if I, I answered you well. Oh, you went above and beyond, Papa. <laughs> you went above we, we, and beyond. I know you blessed. I know you blessed a lot of people with that. I, I know, Papa, you blessed a lot of us. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Glory. So uh, uh, I don't know if we can begin to prophesy now and, and, and bless people. Yes, Papa. Yes, yes. Yes. Do you have anybody you see in the realms of the spirit? Uh, is Duncan still here? Duncan, are you, are, are you still here, Duncan? Oh, yeah. Let's go to Duncan. Oh, Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> yeah, ladies and called Abrahaso. Prayerfully, he's still on here. Marabi di bonsai. Paravai. You know, some people are not that prophetic. While we are teaching like this, and we are charged under this anointing, when we teach them, they need to connect with the seed. 
That's uh, true. To receive some oh, certain yes, amount. Papa. Some people should have just started going to the website and giving hundred dollars, fifty dollars, two hundred dollars, whatever it is. Yes. Giving and giving because it's 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 so controversial that preachers come and say give money, give offering, give giving. But it's life changing thing that I experienced myself. Yes. And my life been touched yeah. and changed in a, in a, in a higher yeah. dimension. Look, I don't uh, I don't know if this camera's on me or not, Papa, but I do I do want to say this. Um, it goes without saying, and, 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 and this is why we're doing this teaching, because you could have been in the same boat as myself. You could have been in the same uh, boat as, uh, as Duncan, a.k.a. Lewis, where you came from a teaching that, that, that taught you that, that, that it was seen to sow into the life of a prophet. But I challenge you to go back and read your Bible. The reason that Elisha walked in the double portion of Elijah is because of the service and what he sold into the man of God. The woman, I, I need to tell you, the woman of Zarephath yes. that was getting ready to die, her and her son. And the prophet said, I mean, I, it, it would scare me to death to think if this would happen in 2019 because oh, something would go down. It would make the news. The woman said, I'm going to eat. I'm going to make this last pancake. That's what I call it. And me and my son are going to eat it and die. Oh, my and the God. prophet said, well, before you do that, bless fix you, mine first. God bless Look, you, <laughs> Look, if that would happen a day in 2019, I know it would make world news. Because we're, we don't have that tenacity that they did back then to heed the word of the prophet. It goes without saying that the anointing that you sustain is the anointing that you maintain. When Saul was imparted, and not only imparted, he was blessed, Papa, because he said, I've lost my donkeys. And the servant said, but there's a man of God in this area that Drop. can find your donkeys. But then Saul flipped the script. He said, but wait one minute. Wait a minute. What am I going to bring to the man of God when I see him? Saul knew prophetic order. Maybe he didn't have it all together. He made some mistakes because pride would do that to us. But one thing we can say about Saul is that he understood prophetic order. He said, what shall we bring to the man of God? I don't have any money. Servant, what did you bring? You need to, you need to pony up. Give me what you got because I've got to put it in the man of God's hands. Oh, my God. And, 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 and when he came with his seed, Samuel said, don't worry about the donkeys. Uh, the donkeys are safe. They back with your daddy. I need you to stay because I got something deeper. The, the power of a connecting seed. Saul did not know that, 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 that at that very moment that he was anointed to be the first king mm. of Israel. You don't, you, don't hear what I'm, you don't hear what I'm saying today. The power of connecting. The, when, when Elijah went through the town and the woman recognized that he didn't have a place to stay. And she said, you know what? I'm going to take my resources. I'm going to make him a room. I'm going to put a chair in there. I'm going to put a bed. I'm going to put a place where the man of God can retire for the night. And guess what? Little, little did the woman know that the one thing that she could not do for herself her seed connected her to the man of God that made it a reality. It is a crime to come to a man of God empty handed. And y'all, I'm from the traditional church. I, I'm not ashamed to say that. I came from the church that felt like all the preacher needed was, was, was a box of chicken and a bottle of milk. Don't do that. And, 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 and if you're sharing this, yeah. I, I, there is someone you're going to impart in the realms of the spirit. Yes, I am. Papa. Your name is George. Okay, kind of but I had a George in my spirit. There's George. a George watching us. I don't know where George is watching. Zuko from. Do but, um, but there is a George in the realms of the spirit that you're going to impart right now. Go Vasante. There is a George. I had George. There is like an A N D. Andrew. 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 Yes. Andrew. Yes. Papa, can I, can I ask the people to do this? Yes. I'm asking those of you, those of you uh, that, 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 that... I don't see that, any that, George Andrews, but there, that yet. is something I had. George, George Andrews. Andrews. Oh, yes. I, I, I'm with you, Papa. I'm, right. I'm with you. I feel connected to him. Um, 
those of you that are believing God for impartation, though those of you that that, that that need to hear from us, I'm here, Papa's here, need to hear from me. On on today, I'm asking that you will connect with the Gotha, with the man of God, with a hundred dollar seed at least. Right. A minimal. All a right. minimal hundred dollars. See if you can give more, so give they more. they give out, they're gonna contact you. Uh, make sure that start. you give your. Make sure that you uh, call the office. Give, give them the information. Um, I believe the office number is up. When you sold, when you sold that hundred dollar or more seed, uh, call the call the office. Contact with them. I will get your number. You will be contacted today, Papa. You will be. You will uh, be. We have the George Andrews watching us right now. Oh, bro, I don't know what you can do. I don't know what you can do. You, 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 you pray for him now, or you're gonna pray after the broadcast? Uh, we, it's better. I, I, I can speak to him now because we called him out. But I really, uh, I need you to connect with that hundred dollar seed. So that we can do it. I speak over your life because in the realm of the spirit, this is someone when I see him, it's like he's in a desert and he's looking for an oasis. The Lord is telling me that he's thirsty for the anointing, that he's thirsty for another level, that Bless. he's been praying about seeing angels. He's been praying about having vision. He's been praying about going to the next level because in the realm of the spirit, I saw that he had a dream. Uh, he had a dream and in this dream he was in this big uh, space I, uh, I don't know if it was outside or an auditorium mm. but he was praying over many people yes. he was laying hands uh, 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 I, I mean he, people were being delivered people were being healed wow. and he's like Lord when is this going to happen how does it come it comes through connecting with a man of God that can unlock you and get you to that level. Amen. So, so George, uh, uh, to you and to those of you that are on this broadcast, connect today. Those of you that connect today with the hundred dollars seat, I am in the studio with the Gotha. I am here with the Gotha. The man you, of God is going to be yeah, praying for you and yes, blessing you. Yes, and taking you to another level. Yes. Yes. And uh, how now am I going to, or are we going to impart people that are watching right now? We're going to make it as a prayer. I don't know how to release it, but I hear in my spirit that yes, there Papa. is a need of impartation, implantation, and replication. Or, 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 or let me prophesy the people God was revealing to me. I, I, I saw that 163. Yes. I saw that 163, and the angel of the Lord is going to, to Elizabeth's house. There's going to be a major move of the angelic visitation this coming week and weeks to come. Glory. The Lord is selecting you into the place of the prophetic for God is unlocking your prophetic sight. You have yes. been a prophetic dreamer, but now you will see open and closed visions. You even see angels in the realms of the spirit. Yes. The Lord is taking you to another dimension. The Lord is blessing you. I don't know if you're on Periscope or you're on Facebook, but the Lord has a word for you. And the word is, it's your time of breaking forth. It's your time to go to another dimension. Yes. And the blessing of the Lord is upon you. I don't know where Duncan is. I don't know where, if, if Duncan is still there. But I prophetically prophesy you, Duncan, you are called to be an apostle. The Glory. apostolic anointing is going to move in your spirit. And God is going to help you and bless you. Zoom Contact my that. office number. They are going to give you my number, my personal number. I'm going to help you. Your pastor, he has been speaking to you, yes, but it's a time for a move from John the Baptist to Jesus' ministry like Peter did. God will bless you. God will release you in the realms of the Spirit. I can't believe I already told him his preacher name is Peter. Oh, God God is saying, I will Zata. touch you and I will use you. I will bless you and I will establish you in the realms of the Spirit. I also saw a name in the realms of the Spirit, like a joy. I saw a joy, joy in the realms of the spirit. I don't know if you're a lecturer. I don't know if you, 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 you no, you are not a lecturer. I was seeing a school. It's like they, there's a rod. It's like there's a rod. You, you are in a rod. It's like a school rod. I, I, I mm. don't know exactly what I'm seeing here. But in the realms of the spirit, the Lord is touching you. I saw J or something. The Lord is touching you, J, and God is blessing you today. And he's saying, I'm opening a door. I, I saw in the realms of the spirit a letter like a B. I don't know what is B to you. But mm. the Lord is saying, I'm touching you and your family. And I'm bringing forth a major turnaround in your life. I will bless you. 
joy joy bo bohem god is touching the boyan family and god is breaking generational cases in your life the lord is saying i'm touching you and i'm blessing you and i'm going to empower you and release you into a place of favor yes. you'll be favored by men and you'll be favored by angels you'll be favored by god himself it's going to be a triple zone for a prophetic blessing that is going to Cut up power you to another dimension. The Lord is blessing us. You stand with the two hundred seventeen, two hundred nineteen dollar seed. Yes. The Lord is saying, "I will bless you. I will touch you, and I will favor you. I'm sending you forth to the future. Carry my word and go with it. My favor is upon you," says the Spirit of the Living God. There is somebody watching me. You're a woman. You've been barren for over seven years. You, many people have laughed at you. I want you to type it is me. There is a word for your deliverance. Uh, the Lord is saying your, your, your time of giving birth is arriving. Your time of giving birth is now. Hallelujah. You have been in embarrassment even in your marriage and, and you've been feeling like running away. Many times you're afraid of committing suicidal. Uh, you've been in suicidal situations but the Lord's hand has been so much upon your life. The Lord is saying I'm going to touch you today and I'm going to bring you a baby boy, a child that will be a minister of the gospel. As you prayed and asked me as you prayed that prayer I'm going to touch you sandra uh you're watching me on periscope sandra the lord is saying that child is coming to you and you carry a baby boy and you shall name your child passion that's me talking no, you shall that's name that's your name passion because i see the child in the prophetic i see that child as a prophet now i see that child in the prophetic and i see god blessing that child the lord is saying that which was meant for your marriage to break it will not be broken but i will establish you i'll favor you and i'll mm. take you to another dimension be one of those that are giving a hundred that the man of god is going to pray for i believe you will carry the child and you'll come out with a major testimony there is a lady with fibroids there is a lady with fibroids and the doctors even threatened you about giving birth you already have a child out. But you mm. can't give birth, says the doctors. You last saw the doctor, I don't know, Dr. J. The Lord is saying and speaking to me and he's saying, those fibroids are being removed right now as I speak. Next week, go for a check. Those fibroids are being removed. I don't know where you are watching from, but I want people to write and type faster because there's a prophetic blessing that is coming to somebody. Cool. There is an anointing that is coming to somebody. Right now, I declare that prophetic favor. I declare that anointing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, God, that you touch everybody who is not feeling well let people with hiv yes, be healed jesus. right now cancer be healed be, yes, healed, be healed sugar diabetes be healed Thank tumor you, be healed i pray that Thank every you, sickness to bow down to the name of jesus christ Thank of you, nazareth jesus. i pray father and i speak life to those that are having businesses that are dying families that are dying marriages that are dying careers that are dying there is somebody you are watching me right now there is a meeting you had a few months ago yes, and that meeting you been believing god for a major breakthrough of thousands upon thousands of dollars the lord is saying that contract is going to be signed soon and uh, I, I see cameras in front of you i see a blessing coming to you the lord is saying your time of turnaround is coming keep on saving in my house keep on sowing seeds keep on praying i'm touching you and the word yes. i spoke to you will come to pass and i'll make you an apostolic voice and in the near future you will start your church and you'll be a blessing to many people your testimony shall be heard by many people and your testimony my blessing is upon you say the spirit of the living god there is somebody you are watching me i see a blue car i see a lady pregnant i see a blue car the lord is saying go to the hospital there is a bridge and there's a complication with the pregnancy go to the hospital now now neglected that you just been there the lord is saying you must go back and they will fix you and put you back in the right place in the right position i pray god and let's speak impartation to everybody watching yes. impartation yes. to yes. everyone Watching replication of the anointing to everyone watching in Maru Mareto of Rama Mahandi, Meribachete, Rabakao Sheke, Ngatsu Puta Teki Daya, Lara Dishombra Haski, Alimento Okuba, Haramande Rida Bakahanga, Merica Tengle Messia, Opraka Diko Onga, Akabadena, Aklidi Boonga, Maraca Badia Burende, Ebribando Elemende, Ekribando Erimende, Arimakatete, Maratete Rida Bakao Sheke. Jesus. 
the Edi Brikiski the Brahan Kaka 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 Aze. Lord, as you instructed me, I release the Holy Ghost to your people and I release pro prophetic spirit to the people. I release impartation, implantation, replication. Everybody receive type it. I receive something receive is coming it. your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Your prophetic ear is being opened, your prophetic eye is being opened, your prophetic test of the mouth is being opened, your prophetic touch is being opened in the realms of the spirit. I pray for the prophetic discernment of spirit to be unlocked now. Mura maka maseke, miri patanda radabaka ushe, abri bados televiko ombra badiga, aramanga akrede bonsa higa, harimake dehiza, let him be asada, bless people and release the prophetic impartation in nasto bratiki the braske de kudabazande de brokoda. Paramane peremembe, paranamaru paramahare in the mighty name of Jesus. Gabrokodava. There's someone on here. Gopi, Gopi, Gopi. Receive impartation in the name of Jesus. Gopi, I command you to speak with new tongues. I command you to walk in the fire of the Holy Ghost. Terry M. There's a lady on here. Terry M. I hear the Lord say you're coming out of the aftermath. I hear the Lord say right now that the aftermath has come. You need to get ready for turnaround. Get ready for your financial breakthrough. Get ready because in the realm of the spirit, you're in your house. And I see God turning around everything that you have prayed about. There is healing coming. There is deliverance coming. There are breakthrough miracles that are coming. Say the spirit of the living God. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we release your anointing on each and every person within the sound of our voice. Father God, let them dream dreams. Let them see visions. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray now that you move for them to walk in the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, to walk in the prophetic, to experience faith, healing, miracles, to walk in interpretation, discernment, and tongues. Father, allow them, those that cannot speak in tongues, I touch their bellies now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I touch your belly. Begin to speak with new tongues in the name of Jesus. Don't be afraid. Just release it. Open your mouth and whatever comes out of your belly, it may not, it may sound like da 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 Let it come out. It is going to form. Divine station, Mogo Thunder, Ike Sakavanta, Igen Maigen Shokonde de Vosoka, Nembraka de Vokosa. I speak fire into your belly now in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Zoku de Vakade Vakada Kata, an anointing to scare every witch, an anointing to run off every demon, an anointing to bring healing into your home. Kote de Vakada Vasanta, Eke de Vakada. There's a young woman here. This tongue is fire. I want you to strengthen your hand and let people receive the same fire. Yes, Father. Receive it in Jesus' name. Loku takate. Vusa kada vakodan. Makita kapoko vata. Stoshin egin zakado kovanda. Loku steke vakada. Loku tapaka. Oso kote inda. Iti kadiva kato kovanda Lokosa kande ni vaka Makuta kato kabrakade Luka dadadavadande Veke dadadado kosande Nebabakanda Someone that has been under the influence of marine spirits Broken right now In the name of Jesus Luka dekata God is hearing your prayer Kote vatakada vakanda Receive it everyone I receive I receive Receive the fire The anointing of the Holy Ghost Every, okay, yes, Someone Papa. is watching. Yes, Papa. You were raped at the age of 13. Mm. You are wearing a white top. Sure could have 
you have suffered with unforgiveness you are not married because you you don't want to look at men the lord is saying that yet is being broken right now yes deliverance is coming to you right now there is a lady you are watching me you don't talk to your mom because your mom i don't want to say it but she, she made you do what you didn't want to do in the past mm. and it's been shameful yes. the lord is saying forgive let go i yes. forgive your sins and today i bring you into a place of a revelation yes. into a place of a change and today let go of the past reconcile today yes. live the life that i your god lived on earth I lived as an example. Forgive and let go, says the Spirit of the Living God. Oh my God. There are people that are watching. Uh, uh, there are people that are watching right now. As you are watching right now, I want you to 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 to, to receive this anointing. You are going to 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 feel the anointing beating your ear or your nose or your eyes or your hand or your mouth according to the dimension that God has put mm. you in. So if you operate in the nose you're going to feel heat on your nose or the power of God like electricity running all over your nose and some of you are going to feel like like uh, your your ear like this will be a sound like a pee or you're going to feel heat or electricity all over your ear some is going to be on the mouth some is going to be on the hand and some of you is going to be the whole head it's going to be the whole head the bible says i'll, I'll, I'll close the eyes of the prophets yes. the eyes and the ears of the prophet but I'll, I'll cover the head of the seer the prophet sees download my book called the seer there's a difference between the seer and the prophet which i i, I really revelate there it helps to operate in the prophetic world uh the sight and the ear the lord says i'll cover the sight and the ear of the prophet but i'll cover the head of the seer because the seer is the whole head the seer is everything my wife when my wife is descending she would say i feel heat all over me lily will say uh, i feel heat they 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 are angels that are here mm. oh i i feel this there are demons here mm. the, the, the whole head this the the, the, the whole head uh, I, I i prophetically declare right now in the mighty name of jesus the prophetic power of the holy spirit and i pray that god will touch everybody right now as i'm going to pray and stretch my hand I pray in the name of Jesus Christ right now let the hand of the almighty rest upon you right now yes, Jesus. the prophetic power that i received in the realms of the spirit elijah touched me and the anointing flow from my heart and i saw it like light coming out of my body going around the world and that same anointing i give it up to you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ i bless everybody even those of you that are watching for me from the first time i had an encounter with moses and elijah and that same encounter i released their grace over your life today and i pray for the prophetic power the prophetic grace and the prophetic anointing to rest upon you right now may jehovah god touch you kind of power you and take you to another dimension in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray that god will yes. bless you i pray that jehovah god will touch you change your life and empower you and root you in the realms of the spirit yes lord i release it thank you jesus in the name of jesus yes jesus i release the power of the holy ghost yes lord father touch jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ give me this coming i want you to touch the screen everybody in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, touch in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the anointing to your people right now and I pray for prophetic impartation, prophetic implantation, prophetic replication in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive it wherever you are. Kabro shatala mandelele be 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 be. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I pray. It is done. Yes, Lord. it is done. Jesus. It is done in Jesus' mighty name. Mm. Jesus' mighty name. My God. Amen. Wow. I'm running out of words. Power. I feel the anointing taken off of my spirit. Oh, oh God, bro. I feel answer. it. I feel it. I feel it. Oh, my God. My God. Oh, Papa. I, uh, I, I will say this while, while you were going forward, Papa. I do know that uh, oh, you, you, you saw one person with fibroids. Yes. There, there, there are others. Some, some of these, I even saw young women that didn't have 
children yet that are dealing with with fibroids. With, with God fibroids is giving you grace and, and, to deal with it because I received grace for one person. Oh, so God is giving that. grace to deal with it. You need to pray for their healing right now. Yes, mm -hmm. I speak over you. If uh, whatever and if you have a female issue, fibroids, young women with fibroids, excessive bleeding, excessive pain, right now in the name of Jesus, I connect with your spirit. And I speak healing over your body in the mighty name of Jesus. I command in the name of Jesus that your body fall back in line with the divine Copra Diva Sata network that God has given you. We command the blood to starch in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Zeke Diva Santa. Father, uh, Papa, I can pray this. I remember that uh, yes. my wife had an injection that they gave us something in the hospital. Yeah. And it started making her excessively bleed. And she said, you're going to have to call a nurse to stop this bleeding. And I just said, in the name of Jesus, stunch. And it's like, it's, and she was like, hold on. I, I said, I'm your husband for a reason. I can speak into you and you can speak into me. I command it to stop. Hmm. And in the name, look, and I say, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we command the bleeding to stop. We command you to live and to live abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. And for those of you having difficulty uh, in the realm of the spirit, I saw those going through difficult pregnancies hmm. where it's even a 50 50 chance if, if they're He's going to have a. Yeah, to, to, to have a normal delivery. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to your womb. You will go full term. You will give birth. We decree and declare that destiny will be manifested in the life of that which you are carrying. We command it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is done in Jesus' name. Oh, Papa, this, this anointing is so much. I think maybe we should just end it. It's just too much. Yeah, it's just too much. Once again, those of you that want to connect with us, we're getting ready to end this broadcast. But if you want to hear from us after this broadcast is over, we still want you to connect with that $100 seed. And please connect. You will hear from us today. God has a word for you. This is your time to go to the next level. I'm so glad that I heard and I obeyed the voice of God when it when it was my turn. When when it was my time. I I, I promised the Lord because I missed him in other seasons. But Papa, I said in this season. I won't miss God. Amen. And that's when I was connected to you. I'm prophesying to someone today. In this season, you will not miss God. Amen. You might have missed your home, your car, your marriage in last season. You might have missed your promotion or your ministry in last season. But in this season, I declare unto you that you will not miss God. Connect today. Call the office. You will hear from us. We will see you. This is the word of the Lord concerning you. Papa, Papa, I'm, I'm, I'm finished. I just, I just, I just so had much. to say, Lewis, don't forget, Lewis, Duncan Corn, a.k.a. It's, Lewis, it's, it's, please it's, connect it's, with Papa. It's shocking because Lewis, uh. Lewis is just writing here. Mm. I don't know. I was, when you were speaking, I just seeing Lewis. You see them? You are saying, can I have the office number? Hey, man, Lewis, connect. Dun, dun, look, please connect. They're, they're putting the office number down right now. And I would <laughs> want to meet this Lewis after, if I talk to him, if we get the number, I would want to talk to him. And I would want him in the broadcast. Yes. I would want to go live with him, one of the broadcasts. I don't know where he is, but I know mm. I'm going to raise him in the prophetic. Lewis, this is your season. This is your time. In this season, you will not miss God. You heard the Gotha. My God. I, and, and Lewis, I'm, I'm, I'm talking and I'm excited because I once stood where you were. I was in that crowd of people that, that my mentors was telling me that the prophetic was of the devil. Mm. I was in that crowd that, 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 that anybody that said, thus says the Lord, they were a false prophet. But it was funny that they weren't false with all the smoking and the drinking and the womanizing and everything else that was going on. They were real men of God. 
Amen. But the man of God that was carrying itself properly, that was speaking as the voice of God, he was the false prophet. I'm telling everybody in this season, don't be deceived. There are many voices in the land, but uh, you will I, know I, the I truth. I was not going to say it, but, oh, oh, but say it, Papa. is letting me. There's mm. a lady, your mom took you to start doing things that you didn't want to do. Mm. Your mom led you into prostitution, and you hate your mom with all your heart. God is saying forgive and let go. Hallelujah. God is saying forgive and let go. Yes, Papa. Your forgiveness to your mom is going to change your life. It was in the past. You can see your pet is living a miserable life. Don't be happy about it. Yop your mama. Yes. Says the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Oh now, Papa, that that was it. I'm just I'm just I'm just excited. Amen. I'm I'm telling people this is this is your season to move in the prophetic. Let me tell you something. Anything worth having is worth fighting for. Yes, there are going to be challenges. Yes, there's going to be obstacles, but it's worth the reward that's coming to you. It's worth the lives that are going to be changed. It's worth the blessing that it's going to have to have that direct connection with God. I'm telling somebody today, this is your season. This is your time. You need to come on up out of the cave. You've been in distress. You've been in pain. But now it's time to come out as a mighty man, as a mighty woman of God. The Bible say, Papa, that, that, that when David fled and hid in the cave of Adullam, that when the people in the surrounding areas heard about it, they say that men that were in distress, men that were depressed, men that were broke, men without hope, they joined with, they joined with David in the cave. But the Bible says that when they came out of that cave, they were forever known as the mighty men of God. Amen. It's time for you to come out of your cave. Amen. You are going to be a mighty man, a mighty woman of God. We prophesied over you today in Jesus name. Amen. Glory to God. God bless everybody watching us. I'm so excited and, and I'm so happy that you were on this broadcast. It's a life changing broadcast and may God bless you. And those of you that will be watching a rebroadcast, pray as we pray and sing as we sing, download the songs and give your offerings connect to this message it will change your life we're going to play my new instrumental which is a prophetic instrument you can download it on my website it's life-changing god bless you god bless you god bless you
hope you've been blessed by this wonderful message and powerful prophetic. Your patronage blesses many souls around the world. To give or to partner with Prophet Passion Ministries, please visit ProfitPassion.com and click the button that says Give.